Hi guys, welcome back to Hit Point In. My name is Raval. Today we're going to be continuing with day four or part four on uh, Bannerlord. And uh, there's a new patch, patch 1.02, that's going to be adding some fixes here and there. I'm not going to read through all of them, uh, just the really important ones. So uh, some crashes and some saves have been resolved. Uh, some uh, fixes for Windows 7 users, fix the crash that occurred when during a custom battle, uh, localization fixes, so practically translation fixes, uh, Turkish translation fixes, AI-related issues that crashed the game, AI calculation error on aiming ranged weapons against mounted enemies. Now, I'm not exactly sure if this refers to the fact that some archers simply refuse to shoot from a distance. Uh, we'll see. Launcher not being visible for some users, error, fixed encyclopedia, faction part of, crash on creating player, okay. Oh, so yes, uh, creating your own faction is in the game. That's a thing. Uh, hero crafting stamina is now saved. Loading does not restore stamina. So apparently there was a um, exploit where you could uh, save and exit and load back the game and you would have maximum stamina, which is hilarious. Uh, crash, 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 crash. I think they also fixed the crash um, where where you're trying to go into the Sea Raider lair. Uh, fixed a bug where using the ransom all prisoner button didn't give you roguery, so they fixed that. Now you can uh, just give all of the prisoners and it's going to give you roguery. And they removed the fact that it gave you trade. Apparently that was a thing. And decreased ransoming prisoner roguery skill gained by 40% because most likely it was broken and people could abuse it. Most likely the developers underestimated the fact that people were selling prisoners like a badass. Uh, some problems with the banner getting fixed. Uh, quest issues getting fixed. Uh, they also removed the limit from workshops. Yeah, 200 cap removed from workshops. So that now they're going to be able to produce more money and stuff like that. And some other stuff. Yeah, they changed strong smith perk description to control smith. I'm not exactly sure what that is. Fix a charm skill exploit. So practically a lot of bug fixes. Exploit at smithy and wood workshop is fixed. Defection amount. Sally out probability decreased, most likely for late game. A plus one daily militia for villages removed. I'm not exactly, exactly sure what that is. Most likely to scale the village strength for late game. Pardon. And that's pretty much it for this patch. Pretty meaty. Let's get into it. So let's see what you guys are saying while the game loads up. Uh, let me just make sure that I have good. Let's go. I'm doing fine, Warband. I'm doing fine, my man. Can you hear me properly? I don't want a world map right now, but also don't want them to go silent for six months. Uh, hopefully it's not going to be the case. Uh, Lunin. Made it just in time. Good morning, my lord. It's good to have internet again, let me tell you. I can imagine, my dude. They fixed the economy, therefore the workshop 200 cap is no longer needed. Now they naturally give you 100 to 600 gold per day. Sounds good, Echo Mike. Strong Smith gives you plus one strength, which is in a stat. Properly meant vigor. Most likely, kitten. Most likely. Although the alternative also gives you vigor. Alright. Let's see. Hey, Patch. Today, you good with internet? Alright. Hello, Sums here. Welcome to the end. Hello, Mr. Caxlat. Hello, aggressor. I'm not an hour early. It's 7.30, my man. What you talking about? Hey, Messi. You don't know how to play Bannerlord? Me neither. Let's find out together. Aggressor. It's 7.30. The clocks have turned. One hour. Really? Timer says that I'll still have one hour before starting? Most likely the timer bugged out. Yeah, timer bugged out. It seems it's not uh, taken in into consideration daylight savings. No longer become prisoner if you have an army left outside of the hideout. Cool. I'll keep that in mind. Alright, so we're in. Uh, let's get back into it. Resume the game. Satareem. A la load. And most likely press yes here. Or I don't need to press yes. Oh, there you go. There. 6.30 for you. Alright, I understand. Time says 8.30. No early for me? Nah, man. How do I like the game? Hello, Godly. Welcome back to the end. How do I like the game? 
positive feedback until now. Positive feedback. I like it. And uh, we'll see where we go from here. Can I go light mode on the dashboard on the right? Nah, later. Another time. I mean, if in the future updates, they'd have your wife sit beside your throne of your town fief in the future. That'd be so cool. That'd be nice. Uh, yes, it's uh, Mountain Blade. You need to get married in this game. Indeed. Aggressor will talk after stream, okay? Righto. So, uh, we were in the looter section. I think we were going northwards. Let me just check the... Oh, the so the quest screen is J. Okay, we don't have any quests that we need to deal with. We wanted to go northwards to get out of Empire territory, try to visit Batanian territory, maybe Nordic territory, and start getting some trade rolling. Your girlfriend bought you a uh, battle order, best gift you've ever had. I can't wait to see the mods that will come out. That's a nice girlfriend you get, Lunin. There's a hilarious bug. Someone on Reddit's wife gives birth to 18 kids at once and dies. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That the lady's like, well, my work here is done. Just dies. In my opinion, the early game's fine, but the vassal stage and Lord and King interaction feels really underdeveloped right now. Well, they're going to be adding more stuff. More stuff to the stuff, Gad. And yes, they did, Voyager. Yes, they did. Also, I need to take that spear off of me. Uh, handling... Okay, we're going to grab that for mounted. And this for civilian use. Hell yeah, that's for civilian use. Good. And might be a good idea to add a shield to the civilian use. Hey, you're super soldierly armed. Yeah, but I'm safe. But I am safe. Um, this only going to get better as time goes on? Yes, it will. The priority for Tales World outright to be fixing the butter icon. Uh, the priority for Tales World is just to make the game stop crashing and optimize it as much as possible in its current state. Uh, you can lock your supplies that don't want to sell. Uh, give me a sec, guys. I need to turn on the lights. Not a Yugo. You can lock your supplies that don't want to sell. Got it. Also, balancing in some price tweets. Uh, you have probably already heard of the fact that crossbows cost like 30k. Yeah, and bows and armor and a lot of other stuff cost pretty much. But we should be fine. Okay, I can sell these. Keep the horses. Is there anything that I want to sell from here? I might not find a good price. And you guys know any location where I could sell some... Uh, Pottery at a decent price. If not, it's fine. Crude iron. Apparently, this is a good place to sell wine. Although it's 51. Oh, no, no, no. It's, it's green, not red. It needs to be red, brothers. No fixed price, though. Oh, so it's completely randomized. All right. I'll find it. I'll find a location. Hello, Vidolf. Welcome back to the inn. All right. Let's go to the smithy. See if we have some. No, we don't. Refine. Curious to see. Oh, our smithy stamina is at a hundred. That's good. Do I have? I don't even have hard wood. God damn it! I'm gonna go to trade and grab myself some of that delicious hard wood. That should be fine. Smithy. Uh, yeah, I'd like to sell some pot. Hurry. Aggressor. You got that right. Also, uh, there's a burger right now uh, that without tweaking some of the files means you can't buy most armors in the game and weapons in the store. Oh, really? Well, that sounds like a priority to fix. That should be fun. And we will disenchant the stuff. I did not like the spear. Most likely I'll have to go for a different type of spear. Eventually. Find that. Smelt. And one more time. There we go. And we gained 38 into the smithery. 
Hello, Elder James. I'm doing pretty fine. Also, what happened with the YouTube videos? The desync was real, though. I don't mind it. I go to sleep listening to you. Uh, Lunin, that was because I've merged... Uh, I've merged two videos into one. Uh, two VODs into one, and it fucked up my sound, and I couldn't do anything about it. So it was either that or n post it separately and make a mess out of it. So I had to do it that way. Found a, find a scout before winter. Sounds going to make me super cry. I see. I'll, uh, I'll uh, keep that in mind. Delicious hardwood is delicious. Uh, no, KFC. I want to sell pottery. <laughs> uh, get a glaive. Glaives on horsebacks are insane. I'll think about it. Think wisely before you buy land in towns. One step wrong and every week you're losing money. I don't know where to buy where to buy uh, land yet. We will see. We will find out. Also, I'm thinking of making a dedicated sword for foot combat as a civilian and make a dedicated sword for mounted combat, which we already have, practically. The longer it is, the better I feel. For mounted combat. For foot soldiers, I want it short and fast. You know, be flexible for all ladies, if you know what I mean. Um, because of the fact that most items right now have the multiplayer tag, meaning the game won't won't uh, put them in sale. Will a guide be coming out? Eventually, Mr. Spooky. Eventually, I will guide you. For now, you're guiding me. Pole arms are absolutely broken in this game, as in very, very powerful. I need to learn pole arms first. And yes, it is quite a grind to unlock everything. Most likely, I'll need to... Can I already? No. No, no, no. I have to switch this out. Hmm. Difficulty 10, length 1.7. Okay, so literally... Extra hand armor. That's good. That's good. Anything else that I might have unlocked? Seems not. I might go for this. Rigid is short gladius blade. But I think the reach. So reach 72. What's the speed on this? Swing speed. 109. Handling 107. You know what? Let's give it a shot. Let's see how it feels. Hello, Garanti. We'll come back to the end. Let's try to maximize handling while also maximizing swing speed and gain the most length out of it too. Okay, so here's the sweet spot for that. Weapon reach. Hmm. Let's go with that. That swing cutting damage is not really that high. 68 reach, actually. Thrust speed. Probably this is going to be a good sword to stab with, but the damage is going to be atrocious. Thrust speed. The thrust piercing damage. And handling. Okay, let's go with that. Uh, so this is going to be the sword we're going to be getting. Ah, really? Oh no. Oh no, I need hardwood. And I don't have the hardwood. It's not morning yet. Damn it. Real love the two-handed swords, because so far I believe they all act as bastard swords for warband. I'm not sure about the axes. Yeah. I really don't currently like the two-handers. Uh, Anonymous... Anonymous Asian 2, thank you for becoming a follower, man. Welcome to Hit Point In. I don't like the two-headed swords because I get get my ass kicked. I'm still trying to learn um, the way of the dodge, the way of the parry with our weapon. It's also cool that you can kill two people at the same time. It sounds cool, and I would like to test out the splash damage of those things, but eventually. Hey, Flavian. And, of course, it's decided to switch up my entire selection simple war sword okay let's go with that with that good good and just go shortest thing ever and we'll see how it feels weight weapon reach 65 thrust 24 cutting damage 110 
handling. Right, please, please don't reset it. Please don't reset the settings that I've just, just selected. Oh, thank God it did not forge it. You can use them as one-handed and two-handed. I wonder what's the penalty for using a two-hander as a one-handed. Oh, really? It was too difficult for me. It still brought the thrust and the damage lower. Okay, we're going to call it Shorty. Shortimus. Yes, Shortimus. Shortimus Prime. That gave us a new recipe. Is it in the two-handed department? It might be in the two-handed department. Oh, really? I can make a two-handed with a sh with a gladius okay someone also posted a pic on reddit his wife turned into a man face after giving birth looks like marriage is super bugged okay we'll keep it in mind start to reach enemies using one handed on horseback i'm not i'm not building it for horseback man i'm building it for civilian use did they patch the workshop money they did fuero yes shortimus prime about this guide, um, even if you made one now, it would be outdated in a month, so... Oh no, HG0, I'm not making a guide, Jesus, I'm still learning the game, the fuck, man? I'm aware. We'll make it eventually. Anyway, let us see what have we created. Shortimus. Shortimothy. Alright, we're gonna equip it here. Let's go into town a bit, take a walk around the street, and see. Hmm? It's kind of broken now, one smithy making 3.5k a day. Uh, yes, uh, as I understand, it depends on the workshops that you get. Not 100% sure which ones make more money, or what information you can get, you know, to find out which ones make more money. But yeah, uh, Smithy making 3.5k sounds super broken. Hey, my look here. Welcome. Will the devs implement armor customization? Yes, they will, KFC. They will implement it eventually. It is mentioned in the character sheet that um, you can create armor. Eventually. Again, not yet. It's not in the game yet. Currently, you can only make weapons. So, waiting on that. Well, waiting on the armor part. And maybe to improve the weapon part as well. Some, I don't know, some weapons feel not that good. Okay, so that is a shorty sword. Oh my god, was that a thrusting damage? That is slow as fuck, holy shit. Okay, that's fast. Swinging it is fast. Stabbing it, though, sucks. Oh, not again. Uh, just put, like, 400 to 600 cap on and be done with it because the system right now keeps breaking every patch. Come on, guys. They're patching it up literally every day. We'll see how they'll fare. And I'm sure they're going to be just fine. Also, I wanted to talk with the Talis on the old presser. Also, there seems to be a graphics bug over here in the city. You guys want to screenshot it and report it? That'd be great. Stabbing the little girl. Nah, I'm kidding. You keep moving. Plus, I want to travel northwards from here. Also, focus a little bit more on, more on fighting, on training, and stuff like that. You've seen that one and reported it already? Good for you, my man. Good for you. Keep keep being active. Keep helping Tillswell out to make this game better. Vlandia is so stupidly strong, they're winning two wars on two fronts without me even helping. Damn, son. That does sound super strong. The purple patch in the city. I have that with every Empire City I visit. Ah, dead end. Okay. Okay. How the hell do I get back there? Looks like I gotta go through here. Through here. Parkour and fail miserably. Go back, jump over this man's fruit. He's going to yell ca my cabbages in a second. And move on. How well does this game run? As you can see, 
It's running pretty fine. I do have some stuttering here and there. But the idea is it's pretty okay. Of course, uh, more optimization is on the way, and of course it still needs more optimization. Also, Albuquerque, welcome back to the end, dude. What's up? The stream is very sturdy. It's looking fine on my end. Now, I think there was some bitrate issues. But I think it's fine now. Should be fixed. I'm seeing it fine, at least. Yeah, I think it's my internet acting up again. I hope it's not going to break. Damn, this NPC really went out of his way to get... To hide. Right, let's see. There's a bug uh, that a faction quickly takes the entire world by itself. Seen that reported on Brazilian Mountain Blade Facebook. Okay. Hmm? My hardware is perfectly fine and capable, and it's not stuttering for me. The stream is stuttering for some odd reason. Oh, this guy. Fashion steamrolling is a big bug. Well, they'll fix it eventually. I hear you recently caught some bandits speaking as a merchant. We appreciate any effort to make the roads safer. That's that's not what I did, but okay. I'm in real trouble with the poachers. A few years ago, I invested in them to hunt for me at the royal grounds. I paid all the hush money to local authorities and even nobles to give them free passage. And then we all made a fortune. After a while, the poachers built an army of their own with their earnings and muscled me out of the leather business. Okay, what can I do for you? I want you to crush them. Go to Igoska and kill them all. If you don't want to get involved in this fight, leave one of your capable companions and 12 men. Now I'll kill those guys. Okay. Let's go fuck them up. Uh, Southern Empire always steamrolls. It's either Britannia Southern Empire or, as somebody said above, Vlandia. They need to chill a bit. Yeah, they. Need, I think they need to make the AI relax a bit more. Okay, so what does this quest dictate? Uh, merchant, um, John Morris told you that the poacher he hired before are now out of control. He asked you to go to Agoska around midnight and kill the poachers. Well, it does make sense to go at midnight. Let's see. Put your quests are the best. Careful with their hours, though. You'll get a good amount of leather out of it. Okay, I'll try to keep it in mind. Lords always get captured by looters. That's fun and broken. The fuck? Do they get captured by looters? Is that a thing? Hmm, might have been a good idea to spend the night, spend the day in Jelmaris and heal up. This game's board game doesn't win Gwent in Witcher. I'm sure it doesn't. No, those are some of the looters. Do I literally have to... Okay, let's wait a bit. Do I find them inside the village, maybe? Okay, so it's midnight now. Also, which board game? There are six. Hello, Conduct. Welcome back to the inn. Is the game stuttering again? Some weird stuff going on, I swear to god. Okay, let's get in there. This game released or this is early access? Early access. I literally have to wait inside the village. It is midnight. Well, almost midnight. Okay, it's past midnight now. Engage the poacher. Oh, okay. Yes, we engage the poachers. Let's get in there. Hmm. All right, boys. Form a shield wall right here. Where's the enemy at? What the fuck? What kind of sniping magic do they have? Attack! Archer, attack! Archer, 
Oh god. Oh yeah, they're not fucking around. I got somebody, but they got me as well. Yeah. Let's go in. That dude's still not dead yet? Oh god. Did we lose everybody? Nah, they're still fighting. Good. That's nice, and that dude's running off. I'm gonna get him. Nah, 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 nah. I need myself some one-handed capacity, thank you very much. Good, we won, but we lost five men, and five are injured. Okay. Uh, remember that submission and that you want to ask uh, random lords about history of Southern Empire? Oh, okay. Sure there is, mate. Okay, army of poachers have been defeated. 14 leather! Boom, brother! Yes! Give me the good shit. That is awesome. That's a lot of leather. Hmm, I wonder where we can sell a lot of leather. I think it has to do with the fact that once the AI captures someone, it does not stop and just keeps going and going, and there's the stronger bandits and the AI not magic armies into being. Makes it so they keep being defeated by looters. They can't put up good defense, and the winning side just keeps going until they've crushed everything on their path. So practically a, fa a major faction snowballs out of control, right? Do I understand that correctly? I wonder if Archer Army Steamroll works in Battlelord. I don't know. And yes, Loon and I had to watch out for arrows. Because your archer dome fire now is utterly broken. My sword is lame. Get a mace or an axe. Nah, man. Swords. And why do you say that it's lame? Also, how are we looking on this side? One plus four wounded. Should be okay. No level ups, right? No, no level ups. So I would have to go back to Jelmaris and report my victory. Kind of want to defeat those looters as well. Hmm. Uh, I've just seen uh, battalions captured the entire Western Empire in one in like 10 to 20 days after the war started. Damn! I guess I'll see the snowballing. For right now, things to be seem to be pretty stable. We'll see. As time moves on. Hmm? One sec. It seems I need to talk with this person. Garios? Hi. Garios! Si and desist, good sir. Let's speak. Hey, Para. Welcome back to the end, dude. Stone in a warm stone in a battle lord. Okay. Hey, Vodka Pony. Welcome back to the end as well. Some claim that the snowball was due to the workshop bug, giving the factions unlimited money, and now it's fixed. We will see. Oh my god, mate. Close your fucking mouth. You're eating all of the flies on the southern side of the world. Uh, forgive me for what may seem an abundance of caution, but please keep your distance. Just beyond sword length is fine. So wh who might you be? My name is Henry, sir. May I ask your name? Garios, rightful emperor of the Coloradians. I'm lord of Zionica and Jolomaris. The one thing about me you should know is that I make a very good friend and you absolutely do not want me as an enemy. Okay, can you tell me anything about the Battle of Pendrake? He's a Lord of the Flies? Ah, yeah, he is having flies for breakfast, lunch, brunch, and dinner. Social distancing guy? Hell yeah, he knows what's up. Let's see. Yeah, we will never forget that day. Today we learned that the old men who claimed they had the right to rule us were doddering incompetence. I was with the vanguard. Neretzis apparently knew that the Batanians had planned an ambush. The Kuzite scout had told us, but he never bothered to inform us. So up we went along a lovely wooded stream until the Batanian arrows started whooshing in from all sides. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Hello, Wakeworo Dev. Welcome to the inn. Sorry I didn't see your stream these days, but I won't... Don't want to get spoilers. Hope you're enjoying the game. I'm just on the end right now. All right, dude. Have fun. There's really no spoilers to be said, my man, but sure. We had our shields, but you can only point them in one direction at once. So we started to drop one by one until the Batanian Falksman came screaming out of the trees. The moment when the trees start talking Batanian. Um, ordinarily, they'd be very vulnerable to archers, but well, 
old Nerys, he hadn't thought to send any along with us. So they came up on us, chopping and slashing, and we fought until we broke. I ran, too, and any man who tells you he wouldn't in those circumstances is a liar. When I was sitting in the cold woods later that night, hiding with other fugitives, listening to the barbarians whoop and holler as they chopped off heads as trophies, I promised that then no Colradian soldier should again be led into battle by an emperor who knows so little of war. Hello, Evelyn. Thanks for, thanks for subbing, my man. For eight months. Really appreciate it. Indeed it has. Welcome back. Garius, the emperor is incompetent. I should lead the empire. He wants to be the good emperor. Gets conquered by Batania in 20 days. Good. Thank you. And that seems to be it. Let's go here. And... Oh, so this is considered the quest complete now that I've destroyed the... Yeah, it seems that it considers the quest complete. Interesting. I thought it's gonna... I thought it's gonna... Um, what you call it? Tell me to go back to the NPC. I like to catch this looter. Oh, it seems they're faster than us. Well, don't don't waste time. Just go back. Henry gained a skill point in steward for just paying the men. Uh, gonna see this room rolling off the Western Empire. All right, we'll find out. Eventually. Uh, fashion. Handling a hundred, swing speed ninety-six. How does it compare to the weapon that I have? Thrust speed is much, much better on that. Uh thrust damage twenty-eight. Forty-four pierce damage. Okay. Length is better, handling is not better on that one. Benny Hill theme when you chase looters. Yeah, Benny Hill theme mod should be added. Player party is so damn slow in this game, armies constantly outrun you. Remember to uh, rest up, my man, and get a lot of horses in your inventory, Leono. And you should be fine. Uh, leather for 90. Fuck that. I can sell it at Poros for 169. Giggity. Hopefully we can sell it at a... I, sh I shouldn't be able to sell it northwards, though. I might go back to Poros just to sell that leather, because that's a lot of fucking leather. Also, I heard that the steam rolling may also have to do with the fact that once a faction starts losing their lords, they will de facto in mass to the enemy side, making defense almost impossible. But I heard they fix that. We'll see. Horse training is a good way to make the mulas. Asarai horses fetch for a pretty penny if sold to the empire. Okay, I'll keep that in mind once we're in the Asarai territory. Uh, for now, let me just sell any weapons and stuff that I might not need. Do I have any hardwood? I'll buy one extra piece of hardwood. Actually, three extra pieces of hardwood. Also, we made some cash. 1,700. Let's go to the smithy. And... This needs to go bye-bye. I don't have... I don't have the smithy stamina. Okay, well, I guess we're going to do it later then. We are going to go now... Do I go back to Poros and sell my good shit? Or do I risk it and go to Rotay and Lageta and hopefully sell it there? Let's go northwards. What's our speed looking like? Oh, it's also... It's, we're very slow because we also have a lot of injured soldiers. That does make sense. Should have spent the night over there in the city. But we're going to spend it in the, in the next city. And also increase our medicine a little bit. After this week, are you going to still stream Battlelord or return to Warband? I'm going to still stream Battlelord. Echo Mike. The game really isn't good to play now, but I know a couple of months it will be. I like to keep on playing, my man. I don't play as much as you guys. I only play Bannerlord when I'm streaming. So, literally everybody that is watching the mo the stream right now has more hours than me in Bannerlord. Also, I don't get people saying the game is unplayable. Been playing it fine these past three days when only one crash. It hasn't crashed for me yet. To be honest with you, boys. Oh, yes. And the prisoners. I should go to the Tavern District and... Ransom all of my prisoners. They fixed this, by the way. You now gain roguery now. You no longer gain trade from doing that, though. Okay, enter the smithy. I don't think I have... Yeah, I don't think I'm I have any smithy smiths. We will... Recruit troops. What do we got here? Got some imperial recruits. I should start making them into into infantrymen. Get, get a shield wall going. 
So give me those. Done. Go to, I don't care about the arena right now. Let's trade, see if there's anything useful over here. Oh wow, that's a lot of weapons. It just jumped in weapons. Give me from, uh, I wish I wish it would default for, for value. Fine Seal Paramerion. One-handed sword, weapon tier five, swing speed 84. Um, swing damage 72, cutting damage, damn. And length 116, it's as long as what I have. Although the handling is a little bit worse. Nah, dudes, you don't have to rely on my expertise. You can just play. I just like to enjoy my time and um, take it easy. Take it slow. My god, once this game is finished and has mod support, it will likely be way better than Warband could ever be. I think so. It has the potential, HD0. Hey, Demonius, welcome back to the inn. Glad to see ya. What about the mace? Uh, the Imperial Light Mace, for example? Hmm. Why would I get the mace? Tell me, Patch. Why would you like me to get a mace or an axe? What is it? What? What's the benefit this time around? So blunt damage, I see. So blunt damage still works the same way as it worked in uh, previous games. Armor penetration and it knocks people out and thus you can get grab them as prisoner. Is that correct? So it's the same mechanic. It's not like in Viking Conquest where there's simply a chance for the enemy to go down unconscious. I don't know if this was answered, but Rogri is basically the looting skill for Warband. If you Yes, yes, Lincoln, it was answered. Yep, I know, I know. I've I've checked if you press the info button, info icon. Anyway, um, let's see here. Imperial light mace. I might I might try to make a mace myself, and see what's the longest mace that I can build. Because I like a long mace uh, to use from horseback. If if we could make a morning star only without the spikes and make it blunt, ooh, that'd be sex. That'd be so sex. All right, steep warbow and crossbow. Holy shit! I could sell a kingdom for those weapons. Dayum, dayum. Also, those stats though are pretty high. Name yours. Name my waist window. You nerd, nerd. <laughs> but yes, that's a good Star Wars reference. I found that bandits are not that profitable to sell, and by the time you can take on armies that do. Um, they can sell for a pretty penny. You have way better ways to make money. Well, most likely Sea Raiders. Uh, sea Raiders, selling them as prisoners and selling their gear will be the way to make money if you want to farm farm the boys. Imagine the spiralings with battle or graphics. Ooh, that's going to be creepy as fuck, and I want that. You want a blunt lance? You can make a blunt lance broken. You can easily make a blunt lance. There's the blunt lance tip. But you just have to discover it or simply find one in the shop. That's also a way to go. Wicker Shield. The Wicker Shield. That has literally the same stats. Uh, what's the most expensive shield? Ooh, large shield. Weapon tier 6. Pretty expensive. And it really doesn't give you, you know, that many stats. Although that weight is awesome. Hello, Jacoby. Yeah, that's what we're going to be doing as well. We're going to be trading. Hey, Revolution. Uh, are the reason for the wood workshop bug because they got so high selling prices your profiting got out of control? Okay. Did you know that you can switch your smithy character? You can craft with your uh, companions too. I let them make my coal. Uh, are you referring to... You give them the role of... Um, oh no, you simply select their face while you're, while you're in the smithy, right? That is actually That does actually make sense. And it might make sense to just specialize one of your companions into smithing instead of your main character. I just wanted to play around with smithing because it's a new mechanic that's been introduced in battle lord uh raiding caravans make you swim in gold after you join a faction i'm sure it's gonna be cool needs to change the range weapon prices um when i see this i wonder if the devs have even played their own game ah oh, come on issues here don't be that harsh the ui in this game mm, i feel like there's there's something with the UI that breaks my immersion and I can't really say what there's something about it that needs improved I and I can't tell you why 
I don't know. But that's just something that I can't explain. So I'm not gonna. Because I can't. Uh, no problem, Lunin. And the person who mentioned Imperial Lamellar over Leather. Ooh, that'd be good. Reminds you of Total War, maybe? Not really. I don't know. I don't know. I, I can't really explain it. Something. Something. It's not medieval enough. Maybe? Or the font is what's bothering me? Don't like how dependent you have to be on the encyclopedia to find people. I hope they add in dialogue just to ask people. I think they will, Lincoln. But again, early access, they're going to be adding it to the game steadily and surely. So chill, brothers. Chill. Ooh, this is a good price. 157. Not the best price, but good nonetheless. Pottery 74. Hmm. Getting there. Slowly getting there. All right. Let's get out here. Go to smithy. So it's most likely the faces of the people who are capable of smithy will appear here. That's what I'm imagining. I wonder if anyone that played this game agrees that the prices are way too high. You would think the devs would notice this too, but I won't bitch too much. I assume this will be fixed before the end of the next week. Maybe. Or maybe the fact that the workshops will give you so much money is the reason why the prices are so high. Yeah, I think maybe, maybe it's the font. Maybe it's the font that's breaking immersion a bit. We'll see. You must run that. Oh, I still have zero. Okay, let's uh, let's rest here. How are the boys looking? Wounded. We're gonna wait here for some time. And that should also increase. Should also heal up the boys. Okay, we've increased our points in medicine, and now it's twenty-two. Let's wait a little bit more. Good. Now everybody's healed up. And hopefully Henry has some uh, smithing points to spend. Yes, yes he does. Make a tutorial how to make money on YouTube? Uh, can't yet, Messi, because I don't really know the exact and good ways of making money. Still exploring. I've seen uh, too many broken mess of early access games that make me paranoid by Battlefield's future. Fingers crossed for Sales World, though. Well, they've been on, on the ball and so, since it's what's released. Hopefully it's going to be fun. Force they playing the game. Give the man some time to get XP under his belt. Yeah, everybody's rushing me. Make a guide, make a guide, but I don't know shit. How do you want me? How do you want me to make a guide when I don't know shish? There you go. Now let's forge ourselves a mace. Give me the mace, brothers. And by the looks of it, I don't know. And I can't make a mace. You don't have all the required material. Oh, I need uh, one charcoal. Okay, and then I'll be able to make it. But that's a very, very small fucking mace. Brother. Brother. A uh, weapon reach 48. <laughs> I can't touch anything from horseback with that. Uh, doing tasks from the village villages brings a lot of money. Okay, as in quests from NPCs in villages patch. Or just quests in general for NPCs. Not even worth making a guy this early considering there are a lot of bugs and updates keep rolling out. Indeed, I agree with, with Vodka. Uh, reveal, you are a wonderful man. I mean, who in the world makes a five-hour guide for a mod and not even for that many views? You're my hero. Oh, okay, Echo Mike. Just like to help people out to, you know. Thanks. Uh, Banner, this sell really well, so I think they won't run into money issues for a while. So unless they intend on scamming us, which doesn't seem to be likely, the only problem is see them as a technicality. Hey, we'll see. We'll see. We'll find out. It's gonna be fine, brothers. I'm sure it's gonna be fine. Wish I could learn some Mesa recipes. Probably that's gonna come with time. Okay, I'll keep it in mind, Batch. I'll keep an eye out for... We're gonna try to spend some time into the villages and uh, see what we can get. So refine this, forge. I'll probably need a piece of hardwood. I wonder if I make a mace, if there's a higher chance of getting unlocked a mace recipe. Let's find out. I'm gonna go to the trade. I'm gonna buy some hardwood. And I need to, I need to also keep an eye out for where I, we can find cheap hardwood. For example, here it's not a location 
for cheap hardwood. So I'm just gonna buy one. Actually, no, two. I think I think it asks for two. I'm not 100 percent sure. Let's see. Into Smithy. Uh huh. This selects my choices. There we go. And there we go. Good. You haven't unlocked some of the selected pieces. Aha, uh -huh, so here's one of the problems that I... This is a bug? Apparently, it doesn't identify some of the pieces. I had the same issue with uh, the axe, with the one-handed axe. It seems it doesn't recognize that these two are unlocked. So, um, have to keep that in mind. I have to keep that in mind, and most likely I have to keep making other weapons until I unlock something from those tiers. So let's go with... what? do I want? You guys said that a two-handed weapon can be used as a one-hander? But if you use it as a one-hander, do you gain skills in one-handed or in two-handed? Let's find out. So clearly, we're gonna go for that reach. Also, hope they improve the marriage system because right now it is two persuasion mind games and pay the clan leader of your spouse some money and then you're married. Hell yeah. I no idea. We will see. Leather wrapped. Difficulty 20, length 28.5. Link 30. Okay, yeah, I love the wrapped one hander. Alright. Hello, Lothek. Riga, uh, Rahega's daughter or Vala and Sturgia, pick one. Uh, apparently, they're randomly generated, right? Also, hope they improve the. Yeah, okay. Medieval times don't have consent. Righto. We're just gonna go with the smaller one. That's a cool looking sword. I just hate the look of this though, the simple war sword blade. I just don't like how it looks. Let's forge it. It says here that it can only be used as a two-hander, so maybe it can't be used as a one-hander. Vassal's names are not random. Okay, my bad. Oof. Hello, Vortac. Thank you. Welcome to the end. Welcome back to the end. Make it smaller. Oh, if I make it smaller, it's gonna gain the ability to be a one-hander as well. That's interesting. Um, second hand test. Test -ha. There you go. That should be fun. And let's see. Nope. Nope. Um. If spent matter how it looks, what matters? I. Okay. Confused much on what you're saying? Nope. Doesn't change even if I make it short as, as hell. The point end? The blade? The blade is as short as possible, it's, it's the shortest it can be. I'm sure they'll change. But anyway, uh, it seems not. Let's see. Let's test something. I'll unequip this and go for civilian. Give me secondhand testa. Give me the kite. Oh, I can't wear the kite shield. Got it. Okay, shortness. Go back. I can't wear a shield uh, during civilian. Civilian stage, length 112. Lengthion is 116. It's longer. But I do want to test it out. Hmm. Fat fingers. All looks don't matter how it looks. What matters is the pointy end? No! Looks matter sometimes, but more stats are, stats are more important. Funniest thing I personally encountered is a companion I talked to in the chamber and says, this is a generic backstory. Yeah, some of them are bugged. You can't use most weapons in civil outfits. Yes, I'm aware. I am aware. Uh, we're just going to use this weapon for one battle somewhere. So, trade. 
I'm scared that I'm not going to find a better price for leather. I'm going to sell four pieces here. Just for some extra cash. How's pottery looking? Pottery's looking pretty good as well. But I feel like the more I'm going to go northwards or northwestwards, the less I'm going to be able to sell those uh, those leather pieces for a profit. So for right now, let's go to Thersenion and try to get some quests under all about all about. If looks for a matter, ugly people still wouldn't make popular music. Okay. Hey PP, working on a spreadsheet of what, mate? Oh, there's a quest here. Hello. Talk. You're trading for 12 hours now and made 3.6 billion so far? Oh, so you're making a spreadsheet with trading prices? Is an economy a little bit randomized each time you start a game? Yeah, the boy's been busy. But yeah, figuring out some trade routes might be a very, very good idea. It's gonna get people rolling. How much do you have in a trade, Pew Pew? Curious. Hello? Um, have a bit of a dispute with Carpenion. Recently purchased the right to graze cattle in the nearby pastures from a landowner there, but now some of the villagers are making problems. They claim that I don't have the right to graze there. Uh, that village land can be bought and sold like that. But look, I spent my silver. I won't get it back. Meanwhile, I can't afford to wait. I need someone to ride along with my herders and my cattle can graze. One way or the other, even if it means violence, I can't let my herd just starve. Okay. Or one of my companions with two men should do the job. 350. Okay. Let's go. Also, is the game going to kick me out of the village, or what's going to happen? It just froze for me, so I'm not exactly sure what's going on. It's random, but will always be certain places where certain goods are either cheaper or more expensive. I think the game froze. I think we just received our first crash. I have to leave? I can't. I'm holding down to... Aha, there it is. The Ray 3D11 device has been removed or reset. Please restart the game. Okay. Sure. Collect the necessary information. Would you like to try to continue? Sure. Yeah. Okay, yeah, no. No, 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 it's fine. Don't continue anymore. No, cancel. And exit. There. Uh, please write what were you doing at the time of the crash. Sure. Um, receiving the... Cattle quest, I guess, from a villager. Just finished conversation as it was exiting the conversation. The game froze. There we go. Send it. Sadly, I don't remember the name of the village, uh, so hopefully that is going to be enough. Hey, what do you think? How much time would it take to optimize the game so everyone could play? Awesome, Sierra. It can take from anywhere from a week to a month. It depends the f on the fixes. First days, even the crash report is bugged and crashed itself. Uh, yep. I do remember that. Literally have to wait for the game to stop running. Do I just stop it manually, maybe? Stop. Probably need to restart Steam. I think that there are certain cases of people starting or completing uh, quests can break the game. Let's see what happened here. I don't think there's a crash reporter for the crash reporter, sadly. Hmm? Still saying exile? I'm not so sure what you're referring to, Vodka. Stop. I literally have to close it, don't I? Do I have to go into Task Manager and find it there? Let's see. If it's somewhere in here. Uh, 
Ah, Battle Lord, there it is. And found it. Okay. Gotta wait for it to close properly. There we go. And now I can go back in. Literally found uh, the Battle Lord launcher uh, still running in the task manager. This game needs to love and care, but when it's done, it's gonna be so good. Yeah, that's what everybody said. It's gonna be fine, boys. Game shut down unexpectedly. Would like to enable safe mode. No, I like to live dangerously. No idea what safe mode is. So, uh, first crash in around 10 hours of gameplay. To be really fair, Skyrim was a disaster at first as well, and now look at the community. You know, I'm not even seeing that bad of a start in this game. Okay, was alt tabbed out of it for some odd reason. Never crashed in seven hours? Well, I'm luckier, never crashed in ten. You got an infinite loading screen once, though? I'm, I'm sure that's gonna happen. Skyrim crashed a lot on launch. Besides that, I think it, all, it was bugged a lot on launch. Like any, any video game, and plus, guys, Early access. Early access. Give it the big benefit of the doubt. The biggie doubt. Why are you peace spa? Thank you for becoming a follower, my man. Welcome to Hitpoint Inn. Okay, auto save. Let's see where we left off. Skyrim doesn't have bugs, it has features. I'm sure it does, Echo Mike. You crash it also in later development, Lithic. But yes, yes, it does. All right, let's get in. Hey, Lurker. Welcome back to the end, dude. Revolve, revolve, a righteous king. Harvest season has finally arrived. I cried when I got the notification. Oh. Okay. You don't have to cry, mate. You don't have to cry. It's going to be good. It's going to be fun. Warband was such a huge part of your childhood. Okay, dude. Okay, so uh, let's see what did what do we do? Where do we left off? Lengthion secondhand test. Okay, okay. So practically, it's saved after we um, after we've uh, created the two-handed weapon. Yeah, yeah. I didn't sell the leather. Uh, there are a few people that are really pissed that this game isn't even in early access. They think it should have already been done. Well, I'm sure they're going to get over it. And if they're not going to get over it, I think that's their loss. They got to take a goddamn chill pill. Goddamn. Also, did we destroy Lengthy on 1? Hopefully we destroy Lengthy on 1. Let's recruit troops and leave. Okay, good. Let's get the book out of here. Well, it can be best over if you want, but nothing will change because it's not done. Yep, I agree. That is the best way to see things. Let's go. Hello. Ah, it's the same dude. Let's take a walk through the village this time around. Let's give... I, what I'm thinking is a maybe the shock of holy shit i gotta load up a village in three seconds kind of caused the game to freeze up and crash um so that's why let's just take a walk through the village give the game time to load up the village and not get it freaked out tears of joy man i was entirely ready for a 2030 release and i have to introduce my kids to the drinkers of skulls okay they'll get put up for adoption if they don't like their old man all right dude Warband started as a trashy, buggish, and employable must free to download in a forum, developed by a software neck couple with no graphical design backgrounds. Yeah, well, it's reached a long way. Also, yeah, can't use that as a one-hander. It's pretty fast, though. I'll give it that. Early access is just an open beta you pay for? Yes. 
you are correct. It's just an early access. This is just the open beta that you pay for. I don't live in those people's minds. Maybe they think that if they keep complaining hard enough, Tales of War will just magically released. Yeah, yeah, there's something like, oh my god, this is the 100th person who complained that we haven't finished the game. The 100th person, oh, thank god. If there were only 99, we wouldn't have released the full game right now. That's not gonna fucking happen. Hmm? Yes? People are hysterical. For no reason. Like usual. It's the internet. Uh, okay, Lurker. Enjoy your stay. In some point in the early build of Warband, before it was named Mountain Blade, there was a storyline that involved King Carlos. Yeah, I'm sure. Okay, so what do you want? A dispute. It's the same village, right? Yeah, it's the same village. Okay. And I'm just going to equip myself my one-hander with a shield. There's only one thing about a battle release that bugs you. The price. 50 euro without discount, 40 with all on Steam. That's really pricey for a non-AAA game. While it's considered it's, it considers itself to be a AAA game, my man. Don't you think? Okay, um, told you about his problem with the villagers of Carpenion. Apparently he purchased the right to use in nearby pastures, but the villagers refuse to clear out and are causing problems for his herders. He has to, to clear the pasture so that the herders can graze the flock in peace. You read the dude's job yourself and a party of herders have joined your party, really? I would assume it's the Empire Peasants? I guess so. Most likely, maybe correctly. Lengthion. There. Ah, uh, so it's one of the publisher of that size. Maybe it's trying to be low thick. Who knows? We'll see. It's ambitious. We'll see if, if their gamble pays off. I guess I got lucky then with the one I got. Because so far I had like four two-handers that can be used as a one-hander. Sorry for the bad tip. That one's on me. Hey, Lunin, it was worth a try. Why don't you verify if all the weapons can be used as a one-hander? All two-handers can be used as a one-hander? That does not seem to be the case, and it's perfectly okay. Carfinion to the northeast. It's kind of off the beaten path, but I guess I gotta do what I gotta do. I think it's already paid out. It has like 250k people playing. Well, that means there are 250k people providing, well, maybe half. Now, nah, maybe a quarter of those men are act men. A quarter of those players are actively providing reports to fix the game, which is cool. Hmm. Hello, Skyxy. Uh, got some tips starting out. Take your time with the game. Read, learn, and enjoy. A weapon will tell you if it can be one-handed. I know that a weapon will tell you if it can, if it can be one-handed, Katnik. I tried to verify if changing the stats would uh, cause it to be able to be used as a one-hander. You do enjoy that the horse archery is an abysmal in this iteration? To be honest, um, Early game horse archery is very, very satisfying. And yes, trading does give you a lot of money. Hmm? Battle Lord is currently the best launch sell on Steam in 2020. It's pretty crazy. I'm not even surprised. Pilots 102. Thank you for becoming a follower, my man. Welcome to Hit Point N. Don't get involved in this. We've grazed our herds on these hillsides since our father's father's time. We don't care if one rich bastard gave a couple of bags of silver to another rich bastard. We don't care about title deeds or courts or laws or any of that. Custom's custom. We're not going anywhere. Calm down. No, you're right. No one has the right to sell your ancestral land. These herdsmen can take their cow. Okay. You can take your grievances to your lord or to whoever sold the land. The law says a buyer has rights and you need to clear it out. I'm just a rich bastard's lackey? Yes. I've been hired by a rich bastard. Gotta respect my contract. Oh, that's it? Uh, did you like, just finish the quest? Yes. It seems so. Okay. I just gonna get, get the same tasks three times. Uh, ransom daughter task. Okay. I like that trading isn't a complete waste of time or a side thought in Battle Lord. Nah, it's actually a pretty big economy. So pretty fucking good compared to a big game like Doom. Okay. Remember the measly profit trading made back in Warband? Yes, I do. 
Your current issue is that too many quests kill your relationship with people. Well, you gotta choose your quests carefully, I guess. I don't know. They'll fight you if they think they can take me. Well, I, d I guess they thought they couldn't take me, Chaos. You don't like the Doom style, but everyone is very happy with this game, it seems. Eh. Let's go test out our first auto battle against those looters. I'd like to see how it goes. We have the same speed, so in theory we should be able to catch up with them if they are idiots and corner themselves. <sighs> There's no way which quest kills your relations? Well, what you gotta do, man? If you leave your kingdom as a mercenary or a vassal, you suffer a 10 relation hit with every lord in the kingdom. Damn, dude. That's pretty harsh. Pretty harshy core. Come on, lords. Stop running. Finally caught, them up, caught, up, caught up with them. Another release you're excited for is Crusader Kings 3. Hopefully it's going to be good. He had like all cav troops. Does that uh, like affect the travel speed? It does. If you have all cav troops, it affects the travel speed. Surrender or die, little shits. Although they kind of look cool. Uh, what's the point of all these quests? It's just not worth doing most of them. I don't know that. I want to try it out. I want to see if it's not worth doing. Uh, people know which faction have the best troops for each role. Uh, yes, if you press N during in-game and check out the troop trees, you'll find out for yourself, Warzath. Okay, send in the troops. Victory. We haven't lost anybody. We have three wounded, though. Okay, so it automatically happens. There's nothing. There's no choice. There's no set the men back and let the enemy come to you or flank them or any planning for auto battle. There's nothing. It just auto calculates and you're done. Slightly disappointed on that end. But what I've seen from the Dev Diaries, Crusader Kings 3 uh, is looking pretty goddamn good. We'll see. Yes, I know, uh, Zazube. We already have nine Sumter horses, and we're going to be getting more. Have you tried out the lances and pole arms? I tried the pike. I tried a pike with a shield on horseback, and it's not that good, but a pike with a shield on foot is pretty decent. Not going to lie. Let's grab that fish. And let's grab those stuff, and we're going to sell them. Nope, Sumter horse too. Gives you quite a bit. And... There we go. Yes, I'll pay. 2,400. Not bad. We're gonna try to go towards La Jetta. But first stop is gonna be at Hertogea. Oh, hello, looters. I'd like to fight thee. Ah, oh, don't run away from me. Let me love you. We have the same speed again. 3.4, 3.4. Ah, well, it's also most likely because we're wounded. Crusader Kings 3 is going to be shed a launch. I need to pay $200 for 11 DLCs to make it great. Classic Paradox. I am going to say Classic Paradox. <laughs> it does sound like them. You're using Spear on the early game? Don't know. It seems weak even using the horse speed. Um, I'll give it some time, my man. And also, don't use it on horseback. It's actually more useful on foot. Valentine's will still recognize the formal inheritance of fiefs, feudal inheritance. Decision has the support of the council. Okay, I am wasting a lot of fucking time running after those guys. Let's keep on track. Let's go to the southwest. And speed up. Mules are even better if you only want to carry weight and not to be slowed down by extra soldiers, but Sumter horses can be used for your footmen to ride on, so they can uh, count on map as cavalry, which means you get a pretty decent speed boost. Okay. Catch them, Luchas, brother. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. Oh, what's going on there? There's a battle. Hmm. Lajeta's already been taken by Batania. So Lajeta was supposed to be an empire city? I see. 
Uh, deal breaker for me if they put past DLC features uh, that become core behind paywalls, like the ambition and focus system. We'll find out eventually, my man. Well, I guess we know who's going to be the winning side. The Badhanian hordes are invading the Western Empire? Seems so. Rip Western Empire. Okay. Once a village becomes Batanian, um, do you, or does it, um, does it convert to Batanian culture? Or you can still get Empire troops. Or, you know, the original culture. Alright, long fine steel spear. They keep their culture? Good. War Razor. Shields and bows and arrows. Armor pieces. Acid Eye Horse. Oh, okay, even an even better price for leather here. We'll sell three pieces. What's pottery looking like? Ooh, pottery looking shit. How about wine? Ooh, that's a good price for wine. We're gonna sell something like that. And keep going. Wait, some cash. Not bad. There's no way in game right now to change the culture of settlements, but that may change in the future. I'm sure that will. Uh, good way to get equipment. Oh, yes! That's another thing that I'd like to keep out um, out for. Um, go to the arena and check if there's uh, if there's tourneys to be had. Has anyone seen a big eater crossbow? One that doesn't require you to have 20 skill in it already? I haven't seen one yet, but I, to be honest, haven't looked for one. I'm going to be disenchanting this. Thank you very much. Just to get things going. Arena, and there is a tournament here. Perfect. Let's join and get it done. Okay, so it's going to be one giant battle and a Nahasavi horse. Or the name of the horse is Nahasavi. We'll see. All right, Ammonius, go for it. There's a noble. I'm so done. Well, we'll see. We're, try we're going to try to survive as much as possible, and we're going to try not to... Um oh, my good Lord God. I'm going to try not to die in the first headshot who amount okay I need a I need a shield pretty fast I don't think there are shields around shit get your hands off of me boy okay Whew. Hey, that's one of my boys. Okay, and now give me that horse. Don't kill the horse, please. Get... Ah, shit, I killed the horse, didn't I? Good. Ah, shit. Ah, shit. Okay. Alright, Batanian here has been killed. Not doing a lot of damage. I only have a lot of swing. Hello. Let's dance, bruh. Fuck. Ah, damn, I died. Round over, your team qualified for the next stage of the tournament. Okay, at least we got that going for us. I'll rip your tourney rev. Those armored fuckers are just going to ignore every hit you get on them. Well, I'm going to try to whittle them down. Can I miss the option to ask lords or ladies where Lord X is? Yeah, I know. 
You cannot get other people's gear in tournaments, including horses. Uh, nope, I can't get up on horses. I seem to recall taking a horse from someone, so clear. So I'm pretty sure you can, you can get the horsies. Nice. You and me, brother. You and me. Yeah, get this guy. Get this guy. Get this guy. Fuck him up. Shit. I'm doing it. Oh shit. Pretty much ignoring everything I'm doing. Maybe I need to stab him. Yep. There you go. Farmer guys aim for the face. Hello, Thalga. Hey, hello, Barsa. Welcome. Okay, two fights, one on one. And if they don't give me a shield, I'm dead. Okay, they gave me a shield. Let's see if I'm dead. <laughs> Shit. Got him. Woo! Brother! Yes. Watch no skip. Uh, Batanian veteran skirmisher. Okay, we're good. I love a, a mod that further augments the fight mechanics. Is something reminiscent of Kingdom Come? Ah, damn. Oh, damn. What the fuck? Block that shit, bruh. Please. No, come on. I was blocking that. Damn it. The third time that I get defeated in the final. Damn. Hello, Censored. Welcome back. You're already addicted? Okay. That's good. Maybe. I don't know. Man. I don't know if it's the second or third time that I just lose in the in the final. <sighs> I need to train my boy up. There's no really a, a good, easy way to train up your one-handed proficiency. Or at least I haven't found a good way to train your one-handed proficiency up. To find some case that I swear to God my shield was blocking, but it goes through my block anyway. Yeah, yeah. Um, shots that are kind of far away seems to be going through my shield. Yeah, I know. I need to get accustomed and I need to remember that I have shield bash. Have I found a good, cheap way to get cavalry? Yes. Find villagers that are exiting towns and they're going to give you a big pile of horses for cheap. Boonut. At least that's what I've noticed. Let's go to Tavern District, ransom my prisoners, exit. Uh, any quests? No quests. Okay. And from here, we're going to go to Marunath and see what we can find over there. How are we looking on... Uh, okay, we have two wounded. I might have... Sh I should have stood in, uh, in the city and just wait for that. Almost level 6. Hmm? Just send your character to a net cafe. Uh huh. Okay. Nice job, Lurker. Uh, you can't use Sumter horses for calf troops. You need battle horses. I don't want calf troops right now. Who said that I wanted calf troops? I'm sure they'll need a lot of stuff, but for right now, I don't need calf troops. I just need soldiers in general for right now. Montos. Recruit troops. Imperials. Okay. Hello. Okay. Well, I'm pretty sure that the shield hitbox is bugged. Maybe because of the fact that you can now aim your block. Might be. Might be true. What did I have here for sale? Sumter horse at 75. Is that a good price? Oh, wait. <laughs> I was looking at the wrong screen. Wrong screen, goddammit. 
Okay, let's leave and keep on going. Said by horses for fences, but what are horses most of the time are shelter horses, which you can't use for cavalry. No, but you can use as pack mules. If you want to buy horses for cavalry, just find a village that has, well, horses for cavalry. Practically find a village that produces horses. Sorry, I was referring to the movement speed, not to the cavalry. I apologize. My mistake might be. That's a castle. Kind of like the topography of this location. It's cool. Hello, dude. Let's go to Varan. Grab some soldiers from there. Maybe you can find some battalions. Overpowered Luffy. Thank you for becoming a follower, my man. Welcome to 8.10. Recruit troops. Okay, more Imperials. Huh. <laughs> Okay, leave. And move on. Okay, that's Faction Battalion. That's Faction Battalion too. But it has Imperials. There doesn't really matter in the Crusade lands. You can buy step horses in villages for like 50 gold apiece. And I would assume that's cheap. And you can buy, and you can sell them in, uh, no, no, no. Did you guys say of the Kuzite horses or the Asarai horses that are very cheap? And then sell for a lot of cash in, um, in the Empire territories. Ah, finally, Battalion Volunteers. Speaking of Battalion Volunteers. How do you easily get 34 Sturgeon Peasants? Let 40 Looters and 5 Sea Raiders attack your army of 23 and kill them all. Uh-huh. Okay. Ask Rider, there are the ones that sell for a lot. Okay. I don't have a workshop yet, Strider. Welcome back to the end. Veteran Foxman. Wait. Spearman. Scout, Foxman, Skirmisher, Veteran Skirmisher. Does he have throwing weapons? Yeah, throwing weapons, it seems. And Battalion Wildling. Okay. Then about the steps, though. I only did that with the Asari. Okay. You can sell them for a lot of Landian lands. Um. Who don't have a lot of horse production villages. Okay. Oh, okay. No problem. Thanks for dropping by, Mello. See you, dude. It's OP again, you say? Okay. Well, I'm gaining some some money, so that's good. I don't think I want anything from this. This is a trained spearman. Infantry, right? Tier 5. Tier 5 infantry. Shock soldier. Infantry. Okay, so practically only the... Elite boys. I'll take these two, though. Okay, let's take a walk around through the village and talk with the NPC. How much is it producing for you currently, Shredder? How's the wood production going? Also, what's the price for a wood workshop? Oh, there it is. This village. 50k? Fuck. Per day. That's a lot of cash. You paid 12k for it? Uh huh. Get it. Hmm. Something doesn't feel right with the village. It's like the grass is not properly implemented into the scene or something. I don't know. Feels weird. Looks weird. Make 37 gold pieces with your woodwork shop. Where did you buy them, Purple Brick? And I'm sure there is a way to distinguish uh, in each city which produces more. Hello? What do you want? Relatives have fallen victim to his temper during a quarrel and killed a man for from Beglomoir. We've offered to pay the blood money, uh, but the family of the deceased have stubbornly refused it. As it turns out, the deceased is a kin of Prindor, the elder men of the region. Now the men of Beglomoir have sworn to kill the relative. Okay, sounds pretty serious. Family's concerned for the boy's life. He's gone hiding around the village com 
commons as he can be killed any time. We need at least someone who can protect him until Prindor accepts the blood money and end the feud. We'd be eternally grateful if you can help my relative and take him with you for a while. Sure. You can keep my relative under your protection for a time until the people calling for vengeance settle down. Maybe you can leave one of your warrior companions. Okay, don't worry, I'll protect your boy. Uh, if you can help my relative, I have to add I'm ready to pay 500. He's hiding somewhere. Go talk to him and tell him he's safe. I assume it's Nal, right? Make more money in cities that already produce the raw material needed. I'm sure, that's true, Strider. Profit is capped anyway. It's no longer capped, Lothek. It's no longer 200. Increases value over time so you can sell them after a year for much more. Okay. Anyway, let's go to Null. Weird clipping from the horse. I don't like the fact that the cloak clips through the shield, but hey, what you gonna do? Something they're gonna be making they're gonna be fixing someday, right? The fuck just oh it was a rock. Let's not kick the child in the face with the horse. And there. Why did they remove the cap again? Because they fixed the economy system. Beats. Don't need to resell it if you find the sweet spot and make 3k a day. Okay, somebody said that they made 15k a day? The fuck? Or that's the amount of how much it costs. Who are you? What do you want? Relax, I talk with your boys. I know all about the situation. Then, will you protect me? Yeah, come on. I'll take you with me to Prindor of Billigmar to resolve this issue peace peacefully. No way. I won't go anywhere near them. They'll kill me. Can I continue to live like a coward? I can't protect you for all eternity. We have to solve this somehow. I haven't protected it at all yet. Also, I give you my honor to protect you if your things turn ugly. I'm still not sure about all this, but I trust you for some odd reason. Let's get this over with. Hell yeah, he trusts me for some odd reason. Let's go. Yeah, we ride. You on foot, I ride. Let's see. Uh, they need to fix the clippings. Is breaking your immersion so bad? It does. Oh no, please don't tell me that. Okay, Whew. I thought it got blocked again. I thought it died on me. It died on me. Family feud in Beglomoir. Beglomoir. Where the hell is Beglomore? Oh, there it is. Oh, perfect. I need to go to Maronath anyway. Also, I can sell my workshops. I bought it in the first year for over 100k. Damn, that's a lot of cash. Henry gained a level. God bless you, Henry. We've gained stewardship. Let's see. At the quest, you need to fight villagers to save this boy's life or something? Okay, what are we going to be investing points into? We got medicine at the max. Which I should remember to just wait for my boys to heal up once I'm in towns. Might be a good idea to get that get that ball rolling a bit. And then... Might just go more into one-handed. Just to get start getting better at the one-handed proficiencies. Should probably dismount before talking to the dude. They don't give you much time to react, so to say. Okay. Of course I'm going to get a little bit of a worried face, my man. That's normal. Once it crashes once, you can expect that it's going to crash again, right? One more dude, then it's healing up. There's supposed to be a way to resolve it peacefully, but I think you need a decent charm. Otherwise, you have to fight, and the dumb kid gets himself killed half the time. Okay. POP Battlelord when? When you stop asking for it, Sprawl Ward. But, leaving Joseph aside, uh, the uh, developers from, uh, well, developers, the modders from Prophecy of Pandora stated that they don't want to port it for Battlelord. Ooh, bad price on leather. Good price on pottery, though. Good price-ish. Sure, let's go with that, 420. Ain't bad. Bad price for wine. Uh, da, da, da. What do they have? Iron tools. 
fur, velvet, hogs, nothing. Nothing that jumps. And he yells at me that it's good to buy. Hey, Sebi. Welcome back to the ended. Every time someone asks for a POP Bandlord version, it gets delayed for a day. Yep, that is a fact. It's a known fact. Good, smelty, refiny. Bye, 27. Lame. Okay, let's wait here until this goes up to 23. Stop. I, I wish it would stop the time on click. It doesn't. No, actually, some people have already wor been working on their mods, uh, but I'm not as sure if they received the access to the modding tools themselves. Yes, most likely, HD0. My heart. <laughs> okay. And Tavern District. I don't have any prisoners. Leave. And now let's go to Beglomore. And hopefully we win. Anything, anybody needs leveling up? No. Actually, gonna save here. Still can't really play Bannerlord until they fix the snowballing issue. Hopefully soon. Oh, the fact that uh, it, it goes off the chain. Yeah, yeah, it is a problem. I can't believe that the normal troop tree of the Batanians doesn't have a archer unit. Weird. Not yet, Sebi. I'm still trying to gather some gold. Gather some money so I can buy a workshop. Not exactly sure which one would be more interesting to start with. A workshop or a caravan. Some horses for seven gold each. Damn, good thing the horses I own aren't displayed on the map. Okay. Uh, don't want to buy... Guess we gotta take a walk around the street and talk with Prindor. Let's go. Yes, Quill Deer, they are the strongest archers in the game, in theory. Then I'm sure that there'll be other great mods to fill the POP void in your soul. I'm sure there will be, HD Zero. I'm sure you'll not get bored. And in case you get bored, you're just gonna play something else. Shocking, I know. And this is the boy. Mm. Prindor. Okay. What happens if I just go and talk to Prindor before the NPC arrives there? Super expensive, high risk. Might want to wait for mid game to start doing that. Okay, sure. The fuck. Okay. Where the hell is he? Out hiding in the woods somewhere. Can I change? I can change equipment. Might want to grab Shortimius, Shortimus Prime. Just to get that ball rolling. Just because the speed and the handling on it is super good. Hello, Oblak. Welcome back to the end, dude. What's up, Tim? The fuck? Where is he? there. Oh my god, do I have to fight all of them? Oh, shit. You want a guide for caravans and enterprises because you need to make a lot of gold for a big army? I'm sure you do, man. Let's see. I think I know you. I'm Henry. Quick question. Is this not the dude that I need to talk to? Convince to take Nal to Beglamoir to face Prindor and try to solve... Oh, most likely I need to wait for the dude to come over here. And that's the shitty part. Okay, let's get off the horse. Most likely we're gonna die. Seems there is no more spamming, no. Get that off. And I think we'll equip that. And hopefully we can cut all of them up. Before things get ugly. Yeah, I know. I know, Kabbalah. I kind of figured it out. Then I have to wait for the boy to get here. 
He also found out that said bandits give you stupid amounts of money from their loot. He got 10k money from two 10 sized parties, but those fuckers are faster than the Flash, so you need a cav army to catch them. Okay. Have you checked if the smithing is worth going for? It's too grindy to be worth going for, I think. But people seem to state that um, the stats on the sm smithed, the crafted weapons is better than the sets that you find in the shop. Right, Brindor? Who do we have here? Have you come for your own funeral, mate? Wait, we've come to talk. Just listen to us, please. You evil bastard. I knew we would find you someday. Now you'll face justice. Hold your horses. This lad is now under my protection. We've come to talk peace. What there is to talk? This bastard murdered one of my kinsmen, and it's our right to take vengeance on him. You're breaking the law? I'm convinced. I'll, uh... I'm not convinced I'll protect the accused since you see reason. You're breaking the law. Let's go with the first option. You regret pushing your nose into issues that don't concern you. No matter, you're welcome to die with him. Boys, take him. Oh, well, we're dead. What the fuck? What the? Okay, we're dead. That was it? Character died. Game over. And... I think the game froze. Oh, no. No, it did. Okay. This quest sucks ass. It does. You slip into unconsciousness after a little while. Some of the friendlier locals manage to bring you around. All confused by the weather and serious injuries, you res resolve to be more careful next time. And I think that's it. I think we've lost that quest. Yeah. Well, what you gonna do? Do I have any companions yet? No, not yet. I wonder if companions come with you to help you out in that scenario. In that situation. Also, apparently we have one wounded. Is that me? Oh, that, that might be me, yeah. <laughs> that might be me, that I think about it. They do? Ah, okay. Then it does make things easier. Wait, stop right there. Try to capture the looter gang. 4.9, they're at 5. Well, shit. You've had it more effective to ignore the missions given by the villages? Really? Okay. Try to keep it in mind. The dude dies, you get an opinion penalty with a quest giver? Of course I do. Deliver cattle is easy, though. We'll see. Arena, practice fight, so there's no tournament here. Let's talk with Boren the Smith. He has one artisan can sell their products in Marunath. Hmm. Yes, yes, I'll talk with the Lord. Hello, Lord. Caladog. There are already just certain missions in this game that I refuse to touch with a 10 meter long pole. Stick. Something. Cool. I'm glad that they're already good. How long will the stream be today? Uh, for another one and a half hour. I was really bummed out when I found that the Germans don't level you at all. Yeah, they don't. Hello, I'm Henry. I'm Kaladog, High King of the Batanians. I'm Lord of Lageta and Marunath. The one thing about me you should know is that I make a very good friend. Okay, can you tell me a bit anything about the Battle of Pendrick? I'm a busy man, but there's always time to talk about the blessed Battle of Pendrick. Because, you know. Our dear old beloved King Eirel, a wonderful man but with a heart perhaps, perhaps just a mite too tender, did not wish for us to go off to war. But then he disappeared, and I, his son-in-law, ascended to the kinship. The kingship. The clans cried out for war. They had a hundred years of crimes against them to avenge. I, a father to my people, gave them what they wanted. Now the Empire uses tricks and traps in war. No Batanian fears to meet an Imperial soldier man to man, but we thought it would be a good laugh to use their tricks against them, so we laid an ambush on both sides of a wooded pass, and wouldn't you know, they marched right into it. They turned and twisted as our arrows rained down upon them like fish going frantic in a pond as you draw the net tighter. Then, when they were greatly dis uh, discomfited, we took up our phalluxes and swords and reaped the harvest. 
because it was harvesting season. Oh, there was some unpleasantness later with the Sturgeons about the spoils of war, but what a grand old day it was. Okay. Let's keep going. Um, I think I saw a pack of enemies going southwards. I think I saw some looters going south. Yep, there they are. Get them. They're trapped. They can't get out. Hello, Captain Israel. Welcome back to the end, dude. What do you think of the more realistic recruiting system for AI lords as they have to run around villages now as you do? Uh, it seems to be very unbiased right now as once a uh, defeated lords is likely to be trapped by looters forever. Who knows? Maybe they have to double the amount a lord recruits from a village. Would that fix it? There's a mod on Nexus that makes you earn XP on tournaments if you want. Oh, that's cool. Well, over the castles, you're a total castle geek, and it's because your funsies that you see actual fictional gatehouses, Merlins, and towers with siege equipment. That's cool. Oi, you there. What? <laughs> what happened? What did I say? Send in troops, because I'm too injured. Okay, we haven't lost anybody. And they lost everyone. Good. And we get ourselves a pitchfork, brothers. Pitchfork Brothers. Also, I really need to get better better armor. Better armor going would be great. Those facial expressions, they're pretty good. I don't know, people people don't like them. I kinda do. I kinda do. Aw oh, damn, he looks badass. Imperial recruit. I am I'm tempted to make these Imperial recruits into archers. Cause um I'm going to make the Batanians into spearmen and infantrymen by the looks of things. Welcome back, Emily. Hello, Blue Seraphim. Welcome to the end. I don't know if you know yet, but sending troops against looters will only result in injury to troops. No, that's... I did not know that. I thought they would die. Better than Mass Effect Andromeda? I'm sure it is. One of the reasons that that's made the new system was to avoid that issue. If you double the amount of Lord recruits, then you get the same issue that Warband had to make uh, armies super unrealistic compared to yours. Ah, I see. Okay. Now I understand what, what your previous, um, what your current statement was about. We're going to go to Marinath and heal there for a while. And then we're going to try to search for villages that produce leather. You know what? Let's take a, take a walk through Marinath. We're going to talk with Boren the Smith. And we're also going to wait here for some time. Okay, it seems we've healed that guy up. Let's take a walk around through, around the city. Tried for about six hours. Only time I lose troops is if the looters is mixed mixed with other bandits like Robin Hood bandits, oh, as in forest bandits. It's a great way to grind medicine. Okay, cool. Dope. I wonder how much how much um survivability chance you get if you get medicine to hundred percent. Sorry, to three hundred skill. Curious. That'd be cool. That'd be awesome. Ah. Also, is this the first uh, Batanian city we see? I think it is. You're at 75 with medicine. It's pretty good so far. You found out, but the game ends so quickly, the snowball run uh, ruins the game for me. I see. What you gonna do? Ooh, this place looks sexy. Nice. Cool, 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 cool. What do we got here? Lords, armies, wood workshop, wool weavery, waterfront. They really have to rebuild the stairs in hideouts. I nearly died because I was stuck and a bandit attacked you from above. Okay. Um, I think if you max medicine, uh, then your troops will likely become almost immortal. Ah, oh, man, the, the stream stuttered again. Hmm? The snowball of enemy factions, mate. The biggest improvement this has over Warband are the large-scale battles. They, it does kind of give you a, uh, a Warband, uh, Skyrim vibe. From my research so far, if you don't have like 100k carry weight, 
1,000 Sumter horses plus 75 horsemen in your army. It's better for trading to just buy for green prices and sell again as soon as possible. Buy green prices and sell again as soon as possible. Don't care about lower individual profits. Just make an enormous amount by selling on the fly. You got 300k in the bank and enough carry. Capacity makes tours around the world. Okay, what the fuck? Guys, uh, do you see the stream super stirring right now? What's wrong with you? Yeah, the stutter's real. The internet just fluctuates all over the place. That's so weird. Okay, should be okay now, hopefully. Hopefully? Yeah, I noticed. Yeah, it's still stuttering. What the fuck is going on? Lower the frame rate, switch is not working with uh, this high options. Dude, it's stuttering on my end as well. Hmm. Check my RAM usage. One sec. I will check my RAM usage. Performance hit. Uh, CPU is 100% used. What the fuck is burning my CPU down? The Bannerlord launcher is destroying my CPU. What happens if I close the Bannerlord launcher? Does it close the game itself? It's not Twitch, man. It's mine. It's my computer. Holy shit. Yeah, but it, it there were no problems until the latest patch. Memory leak? Maybe I have to restart the game? Yeah, yeah, I'm relaunching the game right now. Yeah, save and exit. Relaunching the game. Whew. The, is the sound okay? Oh, I can't save and exit here. Gotta get out. Use app intelligence standby list cleaner. Okay. Hey, crack hack. What you gonna do? Okay, sounds okay. Got it. Save and exit, and I'm gonna restart the game. Okay, um, waiting for it to go down, check the, okay, OBS is calming down, yeah, CPU usage is going down, it does say that Steam is still eating a lot of the CPU, okay, okay, finally going down properly, mm-hmm. Windows Audio Device Graph Isolation. I have no idea what that is. I'll have to figure that out. Okay, let's go back in. Apply. And let's see. I don't know. I have to, um, to be honest, I have to switch my CPU. CPU is the weakest component that I currently have in the in the computer. I gotta switch the CPU, the motherboard, and the RAM to get things going better. How many concurrent players? I don't think it matters. I'm playing single player right now. But apparently there's around 250,000. But I don't know. I don't know for sure. So, hopefully the game is going to stop stuttering as hell. Um, how do you guys play it? With uh, borderless full screen or with full screen? Which one's more uh, stable for you guys? 
borderless always. Okay. Full screen gain is magically more crisp. Okay. Well, let's hope it's not gonna... It's not gonna fuck it up again. And what's your current frame limiter? I currently have it on 200 FPS. And that's the current limit. So the FPS rate I'm streaming on? Okay, so 60? Might be a good idea. Full high NPC and still FPS drops on 500 versus 500 sieges, so the game is not get optimized, at least yet. I'm sure it's gonna get better, my man. Hmm. Might be the scene. Yesterday, uh, Prevent made my game crash two times. Had to lower the graphics a little. Enter. Mm hmm. No, no, I don't, I don't want to save. Stop it, game. Son of a bitch. Okay. Options, performance, video, borderless full, full screen. Okay, let's try to limit our frame rate to down to 60. Let's see what happens. Let's see if that improves the game. I kind of doubt it, but... I wonder, do I have to restart the game to apply it? We'll see. Alright, let's go back in. Got to talk with Boren. Take a walk around the streets and hopefully it's not going to fry my CPU again. Hmm. Kind of hitting a dead end a little bit. <sighs> Let's go in. Uh, this better quality for the stream and lighter on encoding? Might be, yeah. There we go, finally moving. I wonder if I'm going to be receiving a performance boost now that I'm limiting it to 60 FPS. Curious. Okay. It actually feels better. Yeah, it does. Let's check the preview. Yeah, no stuttering. Saw someone on mention uh, on Reddit uh, swapping hideouts to more like mini sieges. Thoughts on that? That would be cool. I would I would be down for some mini sieges. Hey, I might get some drops, sure, but oh, it's stuttering again, isn't it? It's stuttering again. Let's see if I would look down. Does it stop the stuttering? Hmm. Performance-wise, on my end, is just working great. I literally need to not look at the city. Borun the Smith. Hurts my soul, man. Hurts my soul. Come on, are you telling me that I'm not going to be able to stream Battlelord? Shit. Maybe Shadow Settings? No, nah, it's the patch. It's the patch, it worked great yesterday. And it's not working well anymore. Okay, I'm glad that the wood workshop is next to Boren the Smith. That should be fine. My brain preparing to speak during a presentation. Uh, it's gonna stutter again, isn't it? It's gonna stutter, what you gonna do? I refer to your voice, right? I'm just gonna look down like the humble peasant that I am. I understand. Yeah, I'm Henry. What's up? Uh, you work from Don. What do you want? Deliver six units of hardwood to your contact in Penkanok. Sure, I can take him. And wood workshop. 
We'll love for high enough to change the mini sieges because right now it's just unfair to do them. Sure, my six dudes, who by the way you can't decide who to take with you, have fun with your six recruits versus 30 sea raiders. Seems fair enough. Yeah. No, Lunin, it's not fixed. It's simply because I'm looking at the ground. Okay, shop worker. Got some questions. What do you produce here? Wood workshop. How do workshops work? Raw material, produce goods, sell them at the local market after paying the wages we send the profits to the shop owners. Right, how much would it be? 14k. Okay. Right, let's get the fuck out of here. And see where we need to take these goods. I'm gonna try and make some money, try to participate in some tournaments. And it seems it's only stuttering in cities, right? They'll probably have to fix this. Many streamers have the same issue. Oh, thank you, Lennon. One of the merchants in town... Nah, this is just robbery. Fuck off. Criminal rating has increased. Was that? How do you decrease criminal rating? I don't know. Uh, you can roll back to a previous version and see if it gets better. Your save might break, though. We'll see. We'll see. So I gotta go to Penhanok. To the west. Alright, let's move. First, go to a breath. Goes away over time. I've only noticed the stuttering in cities. Only when I'm taking a walk through the city. Nothing else. Don't do bad quests? Okay. Fair enough, Realm. I really hope they're going to be... Now I want them to optimize it as soon as possible so I don't have the problems anymore. Okay, what quest does this give me? Family feud. Culprit kills a relative of... Okay. No. We're not doing that. Hey, Spectre. Uh, at, uh, at a point, they'll see you as a looter and everyone wants to kill you? Okay. And too much crime rate prevents you to enter into cities. Got it. Got it, got it. Thank you. I like keep it in mind. Let's go to Ben Canuck. Uh Seems I'm not at war with them yet. So I still should be fine. Also, Henry family parties. Have to search for a lady soon as well. Let's move. Some looters. And done. Oh, this place looks seem, seems nice. Who do I need to bring it to here? To Dernjil the Vintner. Probably not going to be doing this quest any longer. The hit to relations is too high. And crime rate, of course. I have the quest called Family Feud for you. Uh, you can shove that quest right up your arse. Pretty much. Pretty much. Also, as soon as we give in this quest, I want to get out. Get out and get paid. Alright, game. Please don't break on me again. You're making me lose my faith in you. That should be bad. Hello, E4R7. Welcome back to the end, dude. What's up? Ah. Family Feud isn't good. It's uh, pretty shitty in the early game when you don't have uh, companions with you to help you out. Hello, mate. About the task. Hell yeah. Hardwood has been hardly brought. Let's leave. Good. Tavern district. Nothing. Exit. And I swear I saw looters somewhere around here. Where are those? There they are. Let's go get them. Let's go get them, brothers. 4.9. There are at... 3.4. Or, oh, we're at 3.4 as well, but we should be able to catch up with them. Do I have a preferred faction yet? If I could get my hands on elite battalions, it would be battalions. Can't get my hands on elite battalions yet. The rest of the villages are only um, saver sex, except family feuds. What? 
2.2, 2.2. Eventually, we're going to catch them. Hopefully. Please. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, I know. Being idiots about it. Shit, I, if I knew that this was going to happen, I would have just uh, given up on those... I'm going to up on those looters. I can't run away after them. Gets his first noble, first battle against looters, noble dead. Maybe. You don't know. Hey, looters, fight me. Fight and fight me. Um, the fuck? Is there a mountain over here? Okay, 2.2, 2.2. I need more horses. Hello, your villagers. Please stop. I'd like to talk with you. I can't, I can't outrun villagers. Oh my god. What happened, Spectre? Honestly, the biggest peeve of mine is chasing caravans. <laughs> caravans moving at 7 speed. Fucking villagers moving at 7 speed. Whoa, that's a lot of quests. Cancel their products. Escort merchant caravan. My caravans get looted as soon as they're out of sight of the gates. Cool. Army of poachers, I'll do that. Rival gang moving in, and I'll do the rival gang. Actually, uh, with the rival gang, uh, do my soldiers help me out, or do I need companions for that? Also, arena, no. You know how you can get steel? Yeah, you smelt some steel, my man. Ultima tech. Just go over here. You go to smelt. Sorry, not smelt. Refine. And, oh, maybe you need a certain rank to get steel? That might explain things. I'm sure you're right, Broken. You get some soldiers with you, but civvy gear only? Okay. Uh, caravans are a very good place to dump excess goods to. They have high cash, often pay average prices, and that prices is fixed like in villages. Cool. Yeah, I hope they add bows. I hope they add crossbows, armor, everything. Horse armor. That'd be cool, too. You get your soldiers to help you for rival gangs, but you lose five relations with the other gang leader NPC in town. Get it. Well, I don't really care about the other gang leader NPC, but sure. And for steel, I think for steel you need a certain amount of sm smithing to do it. But I don't know the amount. Steel maker. Maybe at 50. Maybe at 50 you'll be able to make steel. I may or may not have executed about five lords and ladies and I'm your honors like minus 50. Damn, dude. It's hardcore. <laughs> it's kind of shitty that you get a trade. Right. Let's see what we can trade over here in the city. Mm -hmm. Yep. Nope. Uh, leather's a good place to buy leather, at least. A good place to buy pottery. And a good place to buy wine. Damn, son. Okay, let's buy. Let's buy ourselves some stuff, and we're gonna go back in Empire Territories and sell this shit. It seems we went the other way around with this. That's a lot of cheap hardwood as well. Gets a little roth, eh? Did they fix the bug with the switching sides? I think they did, yeah. If you have negatives, you won't be able to take certain quests. Okay, cool. Let's just buy goods. And, oh fuck, only three letter? Jesus. Alright, we'll pay. And we'll go. And I'm not going to take any of these quests, it seems. Actually, no, there is... I wonder where the escort merchant caravan is going to go, but I'll take the army of poachers. We fought them before. We should be fat. Also, horses are 19G. I'll grab some horses. I'll buy some horses from here. I'm going to buy around 10 horses. 
Hope we're not gonna wait another eight years. We'll see, my man. Dorohu, thank you for becoming a follower, my man. Welcome to Hitpoint Inn. Hello, mate. That quest that you have. Yeah, yeah, you invested. Gunal Nal. Gunas Nal. Don't worry, I'll kill him. And I'll have to wait until night time, but it should be fine. Ooh, snow. Let's see how much for the horsies. Go to trade. Go to horsies. And one center horse at 19. Is it worth buying the mules at 62? A Batanian pony. That light harness. Hmm. Well, I guess that center horse won't have to do. That is so sure. Buy five mules? Hold left shift to do five. Escort merchants, you have to escort a caravan to two different cities. If there are no big parties on the map, like lords, then it's almost free money. Hopefully. Let's take those five mules. And maybe that's going to increase our speed a bit. So, army of poachers at Gyonat. And Gyonat is right here. Cool. How are we looking on that party? Okay, nobody needs to level up. Hey, Zandor. Welcome back to the end, dude. How you doing, my man? So is Bannerlord all and everything you'd hope it would be? It needs love. It needs love, but the heart's in the right place. So uh, eventually with time and with patches and with patience, it has the potential of becoming one of the best games out there, I would say. What do you think, Xeandor? Recruit troops? Yeah, give me those two guys. Make them a true infantryman. Um, buy products, anything over here that might be of interest? Not yet. Alright, let's wait here until night time. Engage the poachers. Let us go. Honestly, it's an unpolished gem, much better than I expected it to be. That's why I told you guys to keep your expectations low. If you keep it low, you will be pleasantly surprised. Oh, damn! Archers are on a heightened position. That's cool. Yeah, I don't want to say anything. They'll move from there. Well, where's the enemy at, though? Also, you guys form a shield wall. So please keep the boys with the shields in front. If there are any boys with the shields. Yeah, there are two. Been catching bits and glimpses here and there. And I really like it so far. Can't wait to see what the modding community will come up with. You know, for right now, I can't wait to see what the infantry charge. I can't wait to see what they, what the developers will do with it. You know, get every horse and mule you can and never sell them. They'll increase your speed and carry weight. Okay, David. Thanks. Welcome to the end. Okay, that is just what the fuck just happened. Oh my god, it's it's the short one. Why do I have the short one on me? Is this a civilian battle? It's not. Oh my god. <laughs> Killed him with 25. David Football 43, thank you for becoming a follower, my man. Welcome to Dead Point In. There we go. I mean, I expected it to be a vaporwave meme for the rest of my life, so I'm still shocked that we got anything at all. Jesus, guys. Eventually it was supposed to come out, so we lost six men in that. That's shitty. The shorty to fight the family feud. Yes, I remember now. I forgot to re replace it. And I know they also improved my speed. It's my current. The possibility for this game is endless. It is. You're really happy about crafting fantastic weapons, for example? Oh, that would be cool. It's because I forgot to unequip it. Oh my god, that's so much leather. Ooh, that leather all on my face and lower back. Oh, baby. 
Okay, so we could only have 14 men capable of fighting. That's good. Question. Hello, Montauk. Welcome back to the end. I know you're a huge Man of Blade fan, and so am I. How do you not think this is just a reskinned, dumbed-down version of the original game on uh, Total War Hammer Engine? Hmm? How do you think it's not just a... Even if it is just a reskinned, dumbed-down version of the original game, it's all something new. It's a Mountain Blade with a facelift. Even if the only thing that we're going to be receiving is this. The modders will do the rest, sadly. But yeah, yeah, they are good to farm. They're going to be giving us a lot of money. Uh, can't level up anyone yet. Let's equip our weapon, though. But yeah, to be honest, the world map kind of gives you a, a little bit of uh, Total War vibe. But maybe that's just me. Okay, Shortimus, you need to go. You need to go quick. I don't feel like Shortimus isn't that good in, in a civilian situation, either. Anyway, good. Catch them. They're faster than us, aren't they? 3.7, 3.7. Mm, production grain. I don't know what those guys produce. Oh, we're going to be able to catch them. That's cool, I think. Maybe. They have nowhere to run. Hopefully they don't have nowhere to run. Oh my god. Please catch them. Someday. Okay, fuck it. I can't catch them. 4.9. I gotta buy more horses. Uh, this game would have worked on a Warhammer engine? Maybe. I don't know. Have you ever played Total War Online? It's the same engine. Oh, Total War... Total Warhammer... Wait, Total War Warhammer Online? Right. As a huge amount of Blade fan, you got, you got the game you'll love with a lot of tediousness, better graphics, um, a lot of new content, so we can't complain at all. Not really a lot of new content, to be honest. They just added... Well, they replaced Enterprises with Workshops. They improved the economy system, and that's kind of it. They added some extra quests, but they also removed a lot of the quests from before. But they're going to be adding it. It's early access. They're going to be adding a lot more stuff and shish. Zdulak, thank you for becoming a follower, my man. Welcome to Hit Point 10. And it, I do agree, it does feel like a better breath of fresh air. I, to be honest, my favorite aspect of the entire game... I really like the leveling system. I like how they re revamped the leveling system. That's my favorite part. Uh, -pum -pum. Tavern District, no. Arena. Oh, there's a tournament over here, and I have 75. Yeah, I'll join the tournament. Let's see if we can win it. Let's see if we can finally win a tournament. Oh, you meant uh, Total War Three Kingdoms? I haven't played that one. Unfinished features are high. I think it's a perfect mix of new and old. It still feels like Warband, but more modernized. That's what a sequel should be. I agree with Chaos. Hey, guys. Let Montauk have its own opinion. He feels like it's just a reskin. It's not good enough for him in its current state. Who knows? Maybe later it's going to be better for him. All's good. Respect the guy on what he says and on his opinion. For example, there's a lot of people who really don't like the faces and the models of the of the people inside the game. I'm one of those dudes that really likes the faces and the models of the dudes and the people inside the game. All right, let's join the battle. Your guy's level 12? Good for you, man. That is a sword. Oh my god, I'm dead. Yeah, that's bad. Fuck. Oh, come on! It stuttered! It stuttered! It totally stuttered! Ah, fuck, leave. Yeah, thanks. I died in the first battle. He just slashed me twice. I really need to get a better better armor piece. <sighs> Arena, yeah, it's one bye bye. God damn it, it stuttered. Didn't get a chance to block the second attack. Fuck. Get your flashback against first fight against looters. Okay. Uh, Lothic, calm down. Montak has his own opinion. Respect it. He doesn't like the game. He feels like it's a letdown. His expectations were too high, and that's it. 
oh yeah, I'm not betting anything until I win my own tournament, or at least until I win three tournaments consecutively. Have I lowered the number of audio channels? Yeah, sure. Hey, Nino. Welcome back to the end, dude. What's up? Okay, trade. I'd like to see if they have any horses. Camels, camel saddle, nothing. Uh, tournaments are going to second until I get a better equipment. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm? There's no beef, Mr. Dracoxalat. Okay, can I capture those guys? Wait, are those villagers? Hell yeah. Villager brother. Just talk with, with me. Uh, I think they're on a good way to make amazing game, but it'll take time for them. Uh, hopefully, with all the money there now, people can do it faster and better. Yes, I agree. Uh, is that dude had something sticking out of his ear? Or is that a weapon on his back? I think it's a weapon on his back. Hello, what do you guys have? 14 central horses, 73 hard wood, 11 grain, 1 cheese, 1 butter. Whoa. That's 14 per piece, right? I think the center horses are kind of expensive. 93 for a center horse. Not exactly sure if that's worth buying. They can hire new people? They can. Hey, I just hope they take their time. Make sure that it's going to be good. And it's going to be cool. I'm not going to be grabbing that. Nah, it's not worth it. That price on the center horses is just too high. But the price on the rest of the stuff is super good. So, never mind, bruh. Can they give me a different? No, th no, they're gonna give me the same, the same one. Carry on, boys. Bye bye. I'm a bit worried seeing um, the way Chelsworth said many times that the game would release. Um, if they're able to complete the game within a year, like they said, hey, even if they don't complete the game within a year, a lot of things can happen in a year. They will most likely give us a lot of patches, and it's gonna be fine. And ponies and rainbows and sunshine will be dawn upon man. Okay. Can slaughter horses for food? I don't want to slaughter horses for food. I have enough food as it is currently. Let's see. Primary production hog. Primary production grapes. Grapes. I'll buy the workshop for me. User content was the first game lived on. Okay. We're going to grab some. Uh, we're going to grab some of the boys, too. Okay, so let's just move. I'm going to go back to Empire Territories. I'm going to catch these guys. I'm going to break these cuffs. Yep. Yeah, I'm getting your asses. Hell yeah. Good. And I'm going to go to Empire Territories. I'm going to sell the surplus of my goods. And then we're going to make our way southwards. Show you your elf ears? Never! I will never show you my elf ears. How dare you ask for such a thing? So, surrender or die. Brigand, brigand of brigandry. And attack. But yeah, practically what I would need right now would be... I would need... Armor. Better armor, better gear. So I can fight in tournaments better, so I can survive more, so I can get some balls rolling. Ah, that would have been such a sick hit. Overshooting now, right? Yeah. Undershot a bit. Overshot. Come on, you bastard. Damn! Finally got him. Okay, move. Yeah, the boys are gonna hack away at them. Got one. Ah, damn. Well, at least the boys are getting some XP out of it, too. Good. If you go south to the desert, you can make good money off of the bandits there. Uh, but I can, can I beat the bandits there? I need to tell you right now that the game is bugged, so you can get... You can't get all of the armor in-game. I know that I can't get all of the armor in-game, but I'm not really in the mood of going and modifying uh, files and system, uh, system files right now. I think that's a you problem, Mr. Kaxlat, with Lethal and banging all of the chicks in your party. 
Does anyone know if there's a way to auto-follow caravans? I think you can right-click and do something like that, Location Hell. I think you can right-click on parties and something happens. Send troops option optimizes the experience gain for your troops much better than manual fighting. Yes. Yes, I'm aware. But I'm trying to focus a little bit on my own character and increase my stats a bit as well. I should get into melee against those enemies next time. We got a wooden hammer. Drain. And some shish that I don't need. Yep. Take all and move. Oh, really? There's no right-click? For some odd reason, I thought there were, would be a right-click option on the... On the units. My bad. My bad. I stand corrected. Just enjoying the show? I know you min-max, so I thought I would chip something in. Not really. I'm not min-maxing this time around. I'm just, uh... Testing smithing out. Checking medicine. Our bow skill is pretty good. Cool. Stuff like that. You went with Vlandian armor? I'm going to go with anything I can get my hands on for right now. For right now, I just want to go back to Empire Territories. I'm going to go to or Orticia. So let's go in that direction. Um, something depends on orders of your troops and party. First one gains more experience. No. No, it's literally um, killing. It's literally, it, if you have a manual battle, each soldier receives uh, experience based on what they kill. Or what the weapons they use. In auto cal, everybody gets equal experience. I'm sure they're going to get enough. Uh, 4.8, 4.9. Nope, they're outrunning us. Let's see if we can find that those guys are producing sheep. That, ga that castle is getting... Uh, sorry, that village is getting destroyed. Silver ore. Let's just go there and see where the... Pathfinder is going to take us. So it doesn't have it yet. It should. And it's gonna. I'm uh, sure. Probably not going to be able to catch those guys. Yep. But they're going in kind of the direction that I want. Dates. Grapes. Mid Midland Palfrey. Okay. Let's go there. The Midland Palfrey Brothers is what we need. Kind of need some cheap horses. Some armies roaming in our lands. Nobody that I need to talk to, so that's bad. Or good. We'll decide later. Uh, that produces salt. You guys told me that salt is pretty good. If I recall correctly. Let's grab through more recruits. The maximum amount of soldiers that I can gain in the party right now is 24. Got it. Buy products. That's kind of expensive. Is it just me or those mules are pretty fucking expensive? I do find that in AutoCAD the experience is better shared among your army. While in manual most of the experience gets stolen by good units like archers and cavalry. So the other units won't have much XP to level up. Indeed. How old's my character? I don't know yet. He is... Where do I find that out? He's a zero years old. I don't know. Where do you find that out? Is it in the report section? Do I have a report section? Ah, age 31. Occupation? Noble. <laughs> no. Might be a good idea to start getting on with some ladies. Speaking of, how do you get on with ladies in this game? How does that work? Also, shitty price on the horses. Damn. Let's check salt. In Lycia. There. Recruit some troops. Uh, get it up to 24. Buy products. It's pretty bare bones, if I remember correctly. No more poems and stuff. Yeah, I don't think there are any poems. Haven't explored that part yet? Okay. Yeah, I know. I know that it ends reports. And it's practically the encyclopedia. What does clan roles do? Uh, practically, it decides who's in your party. The scout, quartermaster, engineer, and so on and so forth. Just offer marriage first time you meet and done. 
But who do you offer marriage to, Sebi? Uh, do you offer marriage to a random NPC in the village, to a known NPC from town, uh, to a noble woman? Who do you marry? Here's what I'm thinking. Okay, so 40. Can sell and do Glanis for 92. Ain't bad, ain't good either. Okay, done. Uh, lady has to be a noble and single. Okay, gotta go to a woman, do mini games that involve par persuasion, persuasion two times, and you have to pay the clan leader some gold, and then you're married. Okay. Yeah, I heard that one too. You guys mentioned it. Let's go to Ortizia. I kind of want to take a walk around the street of Ortizia. Ortizia looks beautiful. Sorry, I have to stop the Western Empire has been taken prisoner. By the Batanians. Shocking. Oh, can I catch those villagers? 4.8, 4.8. I can't. I could have caught these guys. Too bad. Basically, clan rules pass the relevant skills gains to your companions instead of you. Pretty much, yep. Yeah. So if you have a companion who's simply better at scouting than you are, just make him into the scout and you're good to go. Because what they will do, for example, if you have somebody with good tactics, you should tend to pick him as a quartermaster. Yeah, exactly like that, Zoom's here. No renown requirements, you can literally walk up to a noble woman while you're a dirt poor peasant nice for her hand. Hell yeah. I... You might be right, Wind. To be honest, I don't really know the roles just yet. They're not clear to me. Members. And sadly, there's no information on it. So, Scout most likely is the Pathfinder. Surgeon's your medic. Engineer is the dude that influences your, um... What do you gonna call it? Your sieging capabilities. Fudonix, thank you for becoming a follower, my man. Welcome to the point in, and thank you for subbing. Really appreciate it. And then a Quartermaster... Maybe, is your trade of sword. I'm not 100% sure. If she marries you, it may be the best choice of her life. I guess. I'm sure you do, Lunan. Most likely, it's Stuart. For right now, I'm just a surgeon because I want to increase that medic skull. Rob J. Willems, thank you for becoming a follower, my man. Welcome to Hit Point Ten. Name is Roval. Hope you enjoy your stay. Yeah, I still tend to say the entire poetry sometimes. Portis of the Hand. This used to be a clan member. Okay. Trade. And what do we got? We'll disenchant those. Sorry, recycle those or smelt those. These can go. Horses. Ooh, baby. Yep, and... Sure. I'll take two. Done. Trade. Okay, let's see. Wine, 46. Hardwood, 32. Can buy, can buy, can buy, can buy. Hmm. Remember that you can run the gang and cities in the future roadmap in Battlelord? Can't wait for that. That's going to be cool. I really hope they're not going to promise too much. There is a possibility. Oh dear. That's decent price. But we're just going to sell one. Okay. And what did they have going... For us. So practically we're just looking to buy horses right now. Hmm. Also farming the Lake Rats clan seems a good option after looter bandits get too slow. Lake Rats. Okay. What are your thoughts on doing a playthrough or a guide for Mountain Blade with Fire and Sword in the future? <sighs> A mountain blade with fire and sword is very grindy and very boring currently, Crag Hack. I'm not I don't think I'm gonna be making a guide for it. Here up, Jay. Alright, dude. Well, thanks for stopping by. Curly can hire thugs and then go beat up the thugs in certain locations for good loot. That's probably the skeleton of the future Ganglord content. I think so. 
So the uh, lake rats are a minor faction. Where can I find them, Wind? Smelt. No, I need to refine some hardwood. Yeah, screw it. I'm just going to refine all of that because I practically need it to get the ball rolling on it. And I no longer have. No longer have. Why would I? Okay. Let's move. Let's go through the arena. There's no tournament. Anything else that I need to do here? Recruit troops? Yeah, just have the maximum. Oh, 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 no. It seems I can go over the party limit. But I receive penalties for it, maybe? Let's wait here for some time. Just to get everybody healed up. Let's also increase my medicine. And now we're good to go. Seems also we leveled up. And so the South Empire. Okay. One of the clans is named Lac... Uh, lake rats you can kill them without pissing off the bigger factions okay pretty sure the mules only increase carrying capacity not speed at least in my experience well even that's good they don't slow me down hello it's my turn welcome to the end well okay well, well i guess you'll get to know me if you go over the limit they'll hang around for a day or so and then desert i'll uh, keep it in mind also medicine has been increased finally Amazing guy. Ah, oh, come on. No, 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 no. Just a dude. Makes videos and gates. All good, man. Also, uh, Mount Blaze, somebody found out how to quickly level up leadership. Uh, do a lot of auto-cal battles, some here. A lot of auto-cal. Increases the character's hit points by 10. Increases character healing rate by 10. I think the HP is gonna... Yeah, preventive medicine is going to be better. I mean, if I don't fall in battle in the first place, it's going to be better than just increase healing speed. Because that's just for me. Alright, I'm, I'm glad it helped. It's my turn again. Thanks, Lunan. Okay, stop. Stop it. It's going to go to my head. It's going to go to my head. Oh, no, so we haven't leveled up. It just gave me... A skilly point. Or did it? I don't know. I feel like it was supposed to level me up and give me some skills, but maybe I've already sp spent them. But it gave me the prick because I reached Medicine 25. Good. Now that we've healed everybody up, check another moment. No. Tavern District ransom all of the boys. Good. And now move the fuck away and try to find a better location to sell shit. Let's go to Jelmaris. And maybe catch some looters on the way. Aggressor. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> uh, speed 2.2, 3.7. Ah, we have literally the same speed. If I click there. Where's the pathfinder going to take me through? Villagers of Vanilla, let's intercept thee, because I would like to talk with you. Every skill except weapon one seems hard to level up. Might take a lot of time to get to max or even half. It will be a grind, true, but it might be worth it. Let's see what do we got. Um, Sumter horses 30, salt 34, grain 11, che one cheese at 75, and two butter at 51. And it's for 1,900. And that's 41 fucking salt. I, don't, I think that's a good deal. I think that's a good deal, boys. What do you think? I think I'm, I'm, I'm going to take it. That looks good. 30 for a horse. 34 for a piece of salt. Yeah, it is decent. One thing I don't understand, I don't understand though, I have maximum auto right to rule, and you manage to get... Recognition and some non-aggression and trade agreements. Are you talking about Battlelord or Warband? I am going for it, yeah. Give me that shit. Good. And... 22 Sumter Horses. Cavalry plus 0 0.12. Capacity. You're talking about Diplomacy Litum. Okay. 
Well, if nobody's willing to make a non-aggression treaty with you, start killing them. Rev dies, remaining government will make him a grand mausoleum. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm, yeah, sure. Definitely, HD0. I'm sure the the government can't wait to do that. Mm-hmm. Smartass. Salt. What does it say about salt? We can sell it Marineth for... Ooh! Dunglanis for 92. Where is Dunglanis? Dunglanis, son of a bitch. Okay. It's literally in the opposite direction of where I want to go. Okay, we're going to have to meet some more men and find more deals like this. They need to do something with the AI versus war. AI war. Uh, and a lot of playthroughs when the faction snowballs. Yeah, it's it's happening again here as well. Uh, currently, Batania is snowballing and eating up the Western Empire. Cash villages return to the village. If not mistaken, they sell horses cheaper. They do, but they also ch sell goods cheaper when you catch them running towards a towards a city. They seem to be faster than me. We gain some stewardship. Might be a good idea to switch up to scouting, or at least find us a companion who's good at scouting. Get that ball rolling a bit. Because currently it's pretty shitty. We can talk with these guys as well. Let's see what they have. Hmm? If construction will depend on the remaining government, it might take a while, given the time we take to build any basic roads. Okay. Farmers, we're taking our products, carry on. Ah, most likely their offer is over the amount of money that I have. Maybe that's what's happening. You're thinking about leaving your factions, you can join an underdog. That might be a good idea. Try to stop the snowball. Might be a good uh, challenge. Anyway, to improve your speed map, except scouting skill? No, that's it. Well, horses. Have a lot of horses in your inventory, some's here. Practically for every soldier that you have, you have a horse. But yeah, might be fun to level the playing field. Try to stop the snowball. Sounds cool. So. No... For wine, we can just buy, buy, sell at Dungland. Well, so at Banseth. Charcoal, nah. Pottery, just where to buy it. Sell at Orticia for 163. And iron can be sold at Orticia for 300. Okay, Orticia. Where is Orticia? Do we? Oh my god, we just came from Orticia. That's so much iron. Might be a good idea to just sell it there. Have a horse for every foot soldier. Your army will be Usain Bolt of Armies. That would be the idea. Uh, Supper horses are better than mules. Yes, Supper horses are better than mules because mules just increase your inventory capacity. My think. Sweet 4.9. And we're at speed 4.8. No, could we be doing shit? No, 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 I'm not catching up with them. Uh, stumpers are a lot harder to find. Just talk with villagers. You'll find them. When a faction takes over, does the culture get overridden? No, they keep their, their original culture. Each location keeps their original culture, my man. Okay, they can't get out of here. The mine. Unless they do some weird movement. Yeah, got him. You got a lot of stumper horses from bandit camps? Okay. Take both mules and stumper horses. As long as you don't take that many, it does not become a problem. Apparently, it's... I'm not exactly sure on the ratio, but it's a good idea to not go over 1.5 times the number of your current soldiers. I'm sure it is, my man. I'm sure it is. Since there are only seven of them, I think I'm going to send in the troops. Good. Going to start leveling the boys up a bit. Find that if you send your troops to battle without you, they upgrade more often. Yes, Isiri, uh, you're correct. The experience gets shared among all of your party members. Also, if you if you auto-cal against looters, you, you won't have soldiers that die. 
And if you have too many animal companies, you do get a herd speed debuff, uh, but you can just slaughter them for food. Pickaxe. And nothing else. Good. Oh, yes. Yes, it will. And to tell, herd minus 0 0.02. So do we literally have too many? Oh, no. It might also be because we have wounded soldiers. That might be it. We'll see. Let's level some boys up. Uh, Imperial recruits into archers. Imperial archers into Imperial trained archers. Imperial infantrymen into... Wait a sec. Let me just check the Imperial infantrymen. Okay, yeah, we're going for legionnaires. <laughs> Give me those boys. Good. Who else needs to love an Imperial trained archer into a crossbowman or a veteran archer? Veteran archer, baby. Although I think... Uh, do crossbowmen still have super sniper accuracy? Like they did in the multiplayer? Every time you add a horse, it allows you to add 100 total weight. Therefore, you just keep every horse you come across, and you can carry over 5k units of weight. Indeed. Get horses not from markets, just kill caravans. We'll have over 15 horses or more. Or you can just uh, buy them from villagers as they're traveling around. reason why you're so slow right now is because you're on a difficult terrain. That might be it. That Another reason is I don't have a dedicated scout. And another reason is I have wounded. Prisoners are slowly down, having cows, sheep, and goats are also slows you down, and having wounded also slows you down. Crossbows have more range, not sure if they're super accurate. I remember in the multiplayer uh, that they were stupidly accurate, but who knows, they might not be the same anymore. And then for these guys, the Batanian Volunteers, I like to make them into... I think I'm going to make them into Wildlings. Seems they're specialized into throwing weapons, so I want to give them a shot. Let's give that a shot. So, we're going for Woodrunners. There. Any plans on strategy yet? Currently, make money, buy a workshop, get some stable income rolling in. That would be the idea. Also, test out some soldiers. And try to find uh, reliable trade routes. That's what I'm currently thinking, some here. And Crossbow seems to have longer range. Okay. What characters? Well, I've kind of just explained my goals. Uh, besides that, I'd like to test out medicine. I'd like to test out smithing. And I'd like to test out some other stuff. How do you buy a workshop and how does it work? Long story short, you take a walk around the city. And taking a walk around the city, you'll be able to pardon, visit different workshops. And you talk with the workers there and you uh, offer to buy them. Batania archers wreck. They do. But I currently don't know or haven't found a location where I can recruit nobles. Hello, Zotas. Welcome back to the end. I love you too, random citizen. How fun uh, figuring the game out. I fixed my save file bug. Gonna play again. All right, Montag. Have fun, man. Crossbows are still stupid accurate. Okay, I might visit the Vlandian territories then. Crowbrain activate. Get pretty shiny. Take home. Put a nest. Yes. That's... Pretty accurate, aggressor. So, let's go to Jalmaris. See what um, what things we can sell, what things we can upgrade, what things we can heal, and what things we can smelt. And that would be the current idea. Also, with AutoCal, tactics increase. Archers can fire faster, though. Yes, yes, that's true. But currently, I'm looking for reliability. Reliability, spammability, cost efficiency. They still haven't fixed the main quest, but they're updating stuff daily, and I appreciate the effort. Yes, they're doing good, Shadow. Yes, they're doing good. We're just playing, and since some time in some villages, not particularly ones, just random, I found them noble battalion archers. Cool. I'll keep an eye out for them. I'll keep an eye out for them. Gala flat cakes. Rival gang moving in. Okay. Escort merchant caravan. Overpriced raw materials. Huh. I wonder what that dude wants. He might give me a good quest. Actually, let's talk with that dude first. So you. What 
raw material do you require? What is it you desire? We'll see. Hey, Lich, we'll come back to the end, dude. Also, you can train them uh, from Forest Bandits, but you should have 125 leadership skill. Yeah, the perk that allows you to to convert uh, bandits into different cultures. Is that the, uh, the, sorry, the perk that you need? Also, I wonder if AutoCal also increases your leadership. I should check that out. To easily find how to level up any skill, you just go into it and uh, you just go into the character sheet and you go on the how to learn section. I'll just read. Um, from the Rogue Tree, isn't it? I think it's called Merry Men in the Roguery Tree, but it might be from the leadership too. We'll have to verify to be sure. My friend, good to see you. I have no idea who the fuck you are. Also, close your mouth, mate. The fuck? Okay, what do you want? Okay, collect iron ore. I think I already have that. Sure, I'll bring you five units of iron ore. By the task he gave me. Oh, really? I don't have the iron ore yet? The fuck? What do you mean I don't have the iron ore yet? Oh, wait. It seems iron and iron ore are different. Okay. The discipline thing? Spend some more time in the smithy. I just watched a video by Zerkovich on how it works. I kind of understand how it works, my man. You just randomly discover recipes by simply building stuff. Haven't found out exactly yet what's the most efficient way of uh, spamming for recipes. A mouth breather? I'm, I'm trying to be considered, okay? Will you do any guides in the close future? No, but I'm going to be doing a lot of guides in the long future. And taxi. These NPCs are just amazed by the beauty of my lord and savior, Henry Fiddlebottom. Fuck yeah, they should be. God damn it. Let's leave. And then we gotta find where we can get iron ore. I think there are some villages in the Batanian territories that are producing iron. But there might be some in the Empire territories as well. We'll see. Destroying weapons is the fastest way of learning recipes. Okay, Savant, I'll keep it in mind. Overpriced. Five units of iron ore. Can't actually buy it from here. That'd be great. That'd be easy. Iron ore. Ha! <laughs> four pieces. Yeah, little shit. Literally four pieces. God damn it. Alrighty. 113. Mm hmm. Rot iron, pottery, just sold some pottery, man, I just don't want it anymore, keep the charcoal, crude iron salt, might go into Batania territories and sell it there, hardwoods, fine, wines, too cheap here, okay, well that's it, we just made 448, done go to smithy how are we looking on our smithing stamina okay we're good we're fine now we're good in that let's get this going also no iron ore here oh there's iron ore here can i refine it into iron ore no it's just a reagent that you can use for crude iron you can break it down hey shan welcome back to the end dude what's up Think Henry Biggest Dickus is more proof for this character because he has balls? Nah. Sturgeon Village up north that sells pretty cheap iron ore. I'll uh, keep an eye out for him, my man. Trade rumors uh, become more precise if you level up trade? Yes. And hopefully we're going to gain uh, random recipes for that. And plus we're going to try to hog the we're gonna try to hog the um, ingredients for weapons later on recruit troops no right arena ah there's a tournament here okay we can do the tournament let's join let's 
go for it. Uh, what's my difficulty currently in Battle Lord? Everything is on max except um, damage against me and my soldiers. That is on medium. There you go, you get the recipes when you break weapons down. I literally broke two weapons down. And no, you don't get recipes when you break weapons down. I also gain recipes when um, smelting them. Just for fun. Heavy nasal over. Oh, that'd be so good. Skip. Skip and join. Let's see. Damn it. Okay, let's kill the archer. No! Shit! 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 Damn it. Whoo! Whoo! Ninja, baby! Good. <sighs> Never broke a weapon until now? You should. The base ingredients are much more valuable than the weapon itself. You found easy, medium, too difficult? Had to switch to very easy? All's good for you, Sean, as long as you're having fun. That was very close. Uh, skip that round. I don't care about it. Okay, so now there's going to be four teams, two fighters each. And I'm with an Imperial Crossbowman. Okay, that was weird. And my boy died already. Shit. Come on. Shit. Buck. Got him. Nice. Oh, fuck. Come on. Oh, fuck. I'm, I'm down. Ah, son of a bitch. Come on. Fuck. Come on, you bastardo. You think. You think, brother. But you're mistaken. Okay. Time to focus. <laughs> oh, shit. Nice! Woo! Space vampire emotes. Gotta make one of those. Go for the cathafract first? Nah. Mountain madness are the best way to earn weapons and material. Or sea rayers, some people are saying. Uh, skip this round, and we're fighting against an Imperial crossbow. I really hope he's not gonna get a crossbow. Let's join. Uh, nope, it's a sword and board against a sword and board. Man, he's fast! Shit. What the fuck? Yeah, I got him. <laughs> oh shit, I killed with him with a shield bash. Nice. Whew. Usually on one when we ones, it's sword and board. It depends on the culture, I think. And think in Batania, there's also um the um two handers versus two handers. Really wanna know what people are single? In Battle Lords, just so I don't have to ask everyone which one's single. <laughs> okay. Do you have Death of Companions enabled? Yes. Go for the nuts? Hell yeah. Let's join. Ah, oh, fuck. He's hardcorely armored. Oh, what the fuck? Nice. <sighs> Woo! Woo! 
Got it. Whew. Oh, damn, mantle, mantle blocking's hardcore. Okay, uh, pa pa pa. I think you get two attacks when you stab after you swing. Yeah. How much longer am I swinging for? I get, but, but just a little bit more on head than foot. Damn. Okay, we got a heavy nasal helm over Imperial Male Brothers. Good. Oh, that felt good. It felt so good. Swing and stab. I know. I kind of go for overhead swing and then into a stab, but. Eventually, I'm going to get used to it. I just need practice. If if I was playing alone, I would spend an entire fucking day in, in the arena. Literally uh, in the arena. But that's going to bore the hell out of you guys. Yeah, what's up? Uh, yeah. Okay, I'll be right back, guys. I'm just going to run some ads real quick. And I'll be right back, okay? One sec, boys. Okay. In a bit. Uh, must have ad block then. All right. Okay. Hello, I'm back. So yeah, for those who haven't seen any ad ads, uh, that means you have ad block. No, you don't. Okay, then I have no idea. Maybe the run 60 second ad break is not working. You don't think marriage is working right now? Um, in game? Yes, it does. Okay, so let's see. What beauty did we acquire? That is a 34 armored piece of helmet. Ah, uh, yeah, brothers. We're looking good. We're looking good, sexy, and awesome. Trade, and let's sell our stuff. Uh, Twitch doesn't give a F about Adblock? Ah, oh, okay. No idea, then, why some of you saw the commercials and some of you didn't. Or if anybody did. Can somebody please raise your hand and tell me if you saw the commercials? Hmm? Uh, yes, I don't get paid one, but it's fine. It's highly underdeveloped. Okay, yeah, right. You did? Okay, Lunin, thanks. All's good. It's fine. And no. No. So we got a good helmet. We got a good head on our shoulders now. Let's go by value. Okay, that's better, though. That's better. It's only the people who aren't subbed that saw the ads. Oh, yes, you are correct. I do remember that I gave uh, the subbed guys the right to skip the ads. You're true. That, that's true. That's true. Okay. Yes, it's because you're subbed. HD zero. He's right. He's right. You did, Tess? I don't know. It's, it's a mystery that will never be solved by humankind. And it's over. Hmm. How the fuck did, does the Imperial Studded Strip Shoulders don't give you more body armor or armor in general than the cape is anybody's guess. Hey, all's good. I have no idea what's going on. It's fine. If, if it's going to work, cool. If it's not going to work, cool. Let's fucking go. I don't think there's anything. Oh, yes. We need to wait here for some time. Uh, I'd like for everybody to get healed up. That's also going to increase our medicine skill a little bit. Literally waiting for this to go up. Yeah, and that increased our medicine to 26. Done. Let's 
check the arena once more. Oh, okay, so so the, the tournament didn't spawn again. I'm going to go to Ortizia, and I might sell some iron. Also, let's check the villages around the area. Midland. Midland. What about... Oh, no, that's a party. Grain. Grain. Midland. Okay, so all of these three villages are producing horses. I might go and check them out. You really love the new leveling system? I love it too. I don't have any uh, workshop yet, Shredder. I'm still trying to gather up the money for a workshop. And also testing a lot of things along the way. Looters of lootery, I shall fight thee. I will be the bane of thy existence. Also 3.4, really? Herd minus 0.2. Okay, we're now at 4.8, and those guys are faster than the speed of lightning bolt. Okay. Okay, let's go to the village eastwards, and then we're going to go back north, uh, westwards. I don't know how, Mr. Coxlet. Put, put her in your party, then wait. <laughs> okay. That makes sense. Your wife gets assigned to the party. She goes towards her husband. What is it, my lord? And you're like, it's time to party! And there goes half of my audience because of that bad joke. I know it. I think a child just happens randomly. No other things to it. Just a roll of the dice. Okay. Do I have sheep or cows? No, I have... Um, I have mules and sumter horses. Mules and sumter. I, I didn't make you laugh. Come on. That was a horrible joke. It was horrible. Okay. So now we have 25 Sumter horses. A horse for each soldier in the party. Okay. Bye, Age the Zero. I'm sorry. I had to do it. Love you. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll pay. Mm, okay. Is this snuggle with the struggle? I don't think so. I don't think it's the struggling of the snuggling. I mean, I think she married out of her own will. 3.6, 3.6. 6. So at least we have the same speed. And the herd went minus 0 0.3. Plus it's nighttime. Mm -hmm. Think mule constituted as herd? Might be wrong, though. You might be correct, mailman. Do I get extra information on these things? Speed. Weight. No. I don't know for right now. Can I catch these guys? Well, I'm going to catch them. Oh, no, 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 no. Cut them off. Strategic pathfinding movement, brothers. No, 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 no. Try to cut them off. Good. And now catch him. Baby, come on. Make it happen. I know you can. Yes! What if she gets in my party filled with old men? Ah, oh, Mr. Coxloth, please don't overthink that shit, mate. Mate. Alright, surrender or die. I kind of want to fight this. Want to fight it. Want to tank some uh, helmets with my face. Or do I just send in the troops and be more efficient with it? Hmm. Nah, fight it. Fuck it. Fight it. Let's go. <laughs> Indeed. I guess you'll never know. But, Mr. Caxlat, keep your eyes on the child's stats. If you know what I mean. Follow me. Archers here. Infantry here. Infantry. Form a shield wall. And I feel like... I don't know. I have some weird, weird way of placing the shield wall. Where is the enemy? I think if you have a castle and wait, the same castle as her, you can make a baby. Ooh! Okay, let's get in there. Gotta increase some of the skill as well. Whew. 
Gotta cut it, brother. Damn, that hurt. He, did he just do duck, dodge? Duck dodgers? Nice. Beautiful. Gotcha, bitch. And there they go. Don't well. That one looks pretty nutty. That was fine. Uh, look at me. Look at me, yellow shit. <laughs> He's not looking at me. He's like, no, no. I don't want to. No. Please. Ah. <sighs> the second more rating. The year's wife. Oh ho ho. These animations are so sexy. Yeah, the fact that he just didn't want to look at the camera. Such a shy character Henry is. They really got to optimize uh, sieges. Like, I can have 400 soldiers on a field. Fine, no lag, but during sieges, lags. Hey, someday. I think the only thing you have to do is just to be near her. As in, like, the same location. Would be weird if she's in my castle, which I have not visited in two years that she got pregnant. Nah, that wouldn't be weird. You've been away for two years. H D zero. All right, so we got a blacksmithy hammer, wooden hammer. So these two will be um, disenchanted. I'm gonna I'm gonna call it disenchantment because I've played World of Warcraft and you just disenchant items in there. So <laughs> just gonna call it disenchantment, even though it's called smelting or some shit like that. There's a key to keep the camera steady. Never, motor boy. I'm sure there is. Get all of that loot and move on. They really did a good job with the animation, especially the horseback ones. Yes, yes, that does look very cool how horse, horses move around a, another Imperial Archer. Imperial Barcher. Go to the characters. Uh, do we get a... Yeah, we got some improvements in one-handed department. That's good. Have you seen archers picking up loose arrows to keep firing yet? No, I did not. Do they do that? Did you just grab arrows from the ground and shit and just keep on shooting? Is that a thing? Because that, if that's a thing, Battle is the greatest game ever. Period. Just from that fact. What do you think of the combat system right now? Uh, I feel like there's a... A little bit clunky. A little bit clunky. It, it feels better than in multiplayer. Uh, a little bit clunky in the sense that it's kind of hard to judge what's going to hit you and what's not going to hit you, especially when a weapon of the enemy has reach on you. It's weird. Also, uh, spears are viable. They're actually, they actually feel very good in the hands of an infantryman, and that's pretty much it on my opinion on it right now. Let's wait to a party and wait in the town. Party morale boost plus 100. Okay. You've seen people in the arena grab javelins from the ground to throw them at you? That sounds awesome, my man. Hitboxes on weapons, even ones with long reach, are a lot different and far less lenient than Warband. You're correct, Snake Doctor. What I don't like is, uh, for example, a enemy is attacking me with a long sword. I, even though I'm within, kind of on the edge of his reach, and I block, it goes through my block. It doesn't detect the shield and just attacks me directly. It just causes damage. So enemy archers picking up arrows from quarters on the ground. That's for sure. That's awesome. Picky javelins, son of enemies mounting a horse after his own died. Though you'd see pigs flying before seeing this in Modern Blade. That is very impressive. I'll say that right off the bat. So we can go increase HP by 3. One handed damage increased by 4%. Yeah. People die when they are killed. That's what I, I would name uh, the skill. People die when they are killed. It's beautiful. Okay, done. Now, where are we? We're near Amitatis. Most likely in the opposite direction where I wanted to be. But it's fine. We're going to get paid. Also, we're pretty injured. Mountain banditos. How dare they? Might track those guys down. Hmm? Uh, s people stay dead when they're killed. No, people die when they're killed. Every 60 seconds in Africa, a minute passes. Just in Africa? <gasps> My whole life was a lie. Amitatas. Of course I'm going to call it like that. 
Uh, no tournament here. Trade. <laughs> Super deep. As deep as your soldiers and your wife. Can relate. I was on horseback. I killed the horse from the charge because I hit with my spear. I dismounted and then Mr. Stole your horse. That sounds hilarious, Shadow. Hilarious. Okay, and. <laughs> Mr. Stole my horse. Sure. Ah, uh, yeah, no. Northern Light Harness. That's going to increase the horse's armor by 21. You know, I kind of want to see how the horse is going to look like. Do you? Can you equip any horse with any type of harness? Or uh, do you have to choose? If, or there's equipment for specific horses. Yes, okay, you can equip on all type of horses. That's great. That's awesome, that's awesome. Um, I guess I, could, I can uh, postpone this. Uh, the horse is, has enough uh, HP to keep on rolling. So let's go value on my stuff as well. Yeah, I, I should use these more often. So iron, leather, not that bad price. I'm going to sell around three pieces. Roth iron, pottery. Going to sell a few pieces from here too. Wines. Just a... Not, not a very good price. Where can I sell? No, it doesn't say. Okay, that should be fine. We get 800. Uh, do we... Can we buy anything? Let's see. Grain. Flax. Fish. No, there's our red prices. Oh, I saw something green. Oil. Oh, did they have iron? any iron ore here? They do. Five. Okay. I think we overpaid for that iron ore, but it should be fine. What you guys talking about? I'm on mobile and I have a huge finger, so excuse my typos. No problem, I'm in. Follow you. Hey, Haas. Welcome back to the end, dude. Follow you for Are a few years. Are you feeling that smithing is worth it so far in your limited playtime revolve? Um... Not yet, Snake Doctor. I feel like the amount of effort that you need to put in um, for smithing to reach 50 is a little bit high. But, and it's quite a big but, I haven't been fighting anything else other than looters. Most likely fighting some higher tier bandits will yield more weapons and more loot. Thus, more things that I can um, smelt, you know, that can disenchant. So it should be fine. Should be okay. Um, so you've been looking for this moment for a long time, Haas? Thank you, my man. I'm not the best at Mountain Blade, but thank you. All right, uh, let's move on. We should, we should not wait here. Even though I'm kind of injured, I'm not going to wait here for some time. Let's check the Tavern District. Nothing in. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Tavern District... Vidar the Fish, Wanderer. Visit the tavern. Who the fuck's that guy? Uh, the thing I've seen is your build shit and then smelt it down, then sell the resources. Yeah, that's a viable option. Uh, even though you receive diminishing returns from it. Remember to pick Smithy when buying workshops? Smithy makes you the most money. Yes, I know. You are. I uh, remember the Warband Nature playthrough watching as a newbie. You're perfect for this. Okay, come on. Stop. I'm sure there are other people who are more capable than me. It's fine. Thuggy the Thug. Have any for fighters? Fuck no. Vidar the Fish. Hello. My name's Henry. You are a farmer. Had no choice. Can you use someone like you? 725. What are you, though? Ah, maybe if I read the backstory. Sure, come with me. You are my first companion. Vlad Dyer works in a weavery of warband. Okay. Yeah, he most likely is a pimp. Maybe he's a, qu a good quartermaster. Check Wanderer's page in Encyclopedia and find yourselves proper companions and check their skills. Okay. 
Yeah, I should have went to the encyclopedia and check it out first. You guys are correct. But I wanted the fish in my party. And we'll find out what his skills are now. So let's go. Oh shit, there was a ransom broker, but I don't have any prisoners, so it's fine. Also, did I increase my party capacity? I thought my, the limit was 24. Maybe it went up a bit. Hmm. Let's see. Is he a gay fish? I'll verify. And yes, that is true. Fish in Romanian is a slang for a pimp. True. Vida the fishy fish. The fishing fishery. Occupation wanderer. Culture sturgia. He is devious and he's generous. Writing, athletics, scouting 60. Well, there's his calling. Oh, well, clearly he's a scout. And yes, Vidar the Pimp. He's a wandering pimp. Fuck yeah, he's a wandering pimp. I'll just warn you when you dismiss the party screen that you're over the limit and troopers will start abandoning. Thank you. I'm going to be getting rid of a recruit right now. So. Boop. Bye. Love D. You need a scout for them hoes? Hell yeah, he does. Antithesis Robin Hood. Indeed. So. Vida the vid. You are the scouting scout of scoutery now. I don't want to kick you from the clan. Oh, I can only have up to three companions. Okay. What's up, my dear? Do you dream those words? I don't dream my... No, I don't. I just came... I, I come up with them on the spot. I know they're lame. <laughs> he scouts for the best girls? Hell yeah, he's going to scout for, for Mr. Coxalot's wife. That's what he needs to do. He's a medieval human version of Tinder. Hell yeah, that is a noble, noble line. Also, what can I do with him? Hello, Vidar. You are the first companion that I ever had. You are my first companion. Oh my god, look at him, he's so precious. He kind of reminds me of Hawkeye from... No, wait, no, 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 that was a mistake. That was not, no, not Hawkeye from MASH. Um, he reminds me of... No, Hawkeye from Avengers? Is that his name? Is that the name of the hero? Of the dude? Oh, but he has a hat. He, is his name Hawkeye? I don't remember. Yeah, uh, from Avengers. The dude, the normal human with the bow and fucking arrow. Y you can't wait for Vidar to die because I made a mistake? What happened, AG Zero? No, he's not Arrow. Uh, the companion limit goes up when you uh, level up the clan. Okay. The Marvel, Arrow. the Marvel Arrow? Yeah, who's yeah, who's the Marvel Arrow from Avengers? Hawkeye. Okay, yeah. He reminds me of Hawkeye, only he has a hat. And Green Arrow is from DC. And Arrow in general is from DC. Yes, sorry, I always mix up DC and Marvel. And yes, and also Hawkeye is the name of the best surgeon from MASH. About your position in the clan. No, okay. Can you not uh, modify equipment for the boys? Is that a thing? Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. I go to the inventory screen and I select him. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I found it. Uh, the real name of the actress, Jeremy Renner. Okay. What campaign setting? Uh, max except damage for me and my companions. Sorry, for me and my soldiers, that's on medium. Yeah, he looks like Hawkeye, but I'll method out. Yep. Okay, so what do we got here? Northern for Schnitzel Puff. Highlander Leg Wraps. Uh, I need to check your skills a bit, don't I? Uh-huh. Oh, God. Look at his bulgy eyes. Glorious, man. Fucking glorious. Yeah, we're going to get stuff for him. 
Well, Benjamin Franklin Hawkeye Pierce, actually, is his full name. Hawkeye is a nickname. So, um, party, him, right click. What is he good at? He's good at, uh, at one handed and he's good at bowmanship. I am going to give him a bow and arrow, sword and board. He's called the fish for a reason, I guess so. What's the reason I'm focusing on medicine? I would like to verify how good it is. And if it's worth focusing medicine on your main character instead of a companion. Shredder. That would be the idea. Again, I'm also focusing on smithing for the same reasons. If it's worth to get on your main character and instead of one of your companions, and so on and so forth. Uh, for my next playthrough, most likely I'm going to be focusing strictly on leadership, steward, go for charm, and again, I'm going to try to, and tactics, I'm going to try to go for a combination of everything. Hey Des, welcome back to the end, dude, what's up? How's been on so far? Early access put me off from getting it, so I see a proper review. Uh, feels good. It still needs a lot of work, so... From certain points of view, you're correct. You should just wait until uh, it gets patched for a few times. Uh, but currently, it already received two patches, at, or three patches, and it's pretty, it feels good. Still, he's optimizing, though. Hmm? Press N, look at heroes, press Wanderers, all your companions you can pick. Yeah, I know. I know this job. You can see his perks on the character panel, too. Mm. Yes, you are correct. I can... Hey, it's early access. It's gonna get better. Medicine's really good because it's surgery, first aid, and one more um, and wound treatment into one. Yes. One thing I've noticed in most playthroughs is the roguery is being virtually ignored. There's a lot of cool things in that perk tree. Um, true. We're gonna increase it eventually, but I think roguery is gonna be much more useful once uh, they enter gang wars and gang management in the game itself. Snake. I wonder if we're going to get a patch today, too. We might get something at midnight. We'll see. All right, Lunin. Have a good one, man. Hello, Beast Chicken. Welcome to the end. If you can get your followers to do the healing, though, and smithing, then I think the main guy should focus on other stuff. I agree, but I would like to verify if there is a advantage to specking your own character into these things. You know, for example, in Warband, um, if you spec on your own character surgery, you can bring it up to 14 instead of 10 which would be the case for a companion. You understand? So I just want to see if it's worth going for on your main character. I have no idea why we're here, Mr. Coxlat. I have no idea why we're here. <laughs> what What the hell were, were we doing? Kind of wanted to come here a bit. Let's see. One-handed raider, extra HP, bruiser. Good. This is bow looking. Marksman, strong pull. Forest Hunter. So more food while we're going through forests. That's great. He has some decent writing as well. Ah, but he's at max scouting. So if he levels up, we are going to be specking him into scouting. So frankly, we're just going to specialize ya boy here into the scout. So that should be fun. Let's us move, and I'd like to go to Orticia and then make my way back to Batanian territories. I'd like to reach Dunglanis, and as I understand, there's a good price for salt at Dunglanis. So, uh, westwards, we're gonna go and have a quick stop at Rote. Rotei. Uh, people don't get early access. Hmm? Badges have been good. I feel like some players aren't acknowledging it's still in beta, though, and being too harsh. Uh, yeah, I agree. Uh, they could have just kept it away from us, do a very closed beta, small controlled group, but they took a risk with it. And I feel like the risk is paying off. We're playing a game that we've been waiting for a long time, and it's being actively worked on. We're seeing the progress of the game. Hey, Skeptic Pepsi, we'll go back to the end. Uh, skill trees are so good now. I really like the leveling system that they've implemented in the game. Really love it. Is the game fun so far? I'm really enjoying it, and I'm having a hard time resisting to not play in my free time. 
Um, I'm trying to learn and play only on stream. It's currently being updated daily. We'll see how long those patches will keep coming in. Okay, so we're at Rhodey. Patris, what do you got? Army of Poachers. Ooh, that's a good quest that we're going to be doing. Give me trade. Um, they made it real, real early access so they can build it with the community and listen to community. I perfectly agree. I feel like that was a very good decision, Sebi. Actually, we should be grateful we even get to play it yet. Sure. Which is always a step in the right direction. Yep, indeed. It's a very good choice. Right, looking at them. Value. There we go. So step war bow, super expensive. 8k. Simple short bow, 2.6k. Holy shit. Nordic short bow. Man, it's gonna cost me a fortune to equip the companions. Unless it doesn't drop from someone. Oh, a step bow. 150. That is better than nothing. I'm just gonna go grab that. And bolts. How much for arrows? No arrows? Am I not seeing them? Shields, simple javelin, harpoon. Guys, do you see ammo here? There's no ammo here. Interesting. Some people trash talk the game already because there's so, uh, not, not much content and a lot of bugs. Uh, just look at other streamers, some of them just do that. That's... Well, I guess it's their decision, but I kind of try to keep the bigger picture in mind. I stay away from early access games, but I'll make an exception for this game at some point for um, everything I've seen so far. It's a currently a good game. It needs work, but it has promise. Is it harder to make money in this game? Not if you know the trade routes. I'm currently trying to discover them. There's no ammo here. They haven't added it in the weapon section, yeah? No. Uh, Trust World even actively encourages feedback within reason on their website, and they're going to listen to their fan base. I just hope that uh, when certain parts of the fan base inevitably ask for something really stupid, they'll stick by their guns and say no. I feel like they will do that. I don't think they're going to... They're just going to take the decisions that make sense for them as well. The only streamers worth to even give their opinion is Mount related veterans, people that played Warband, and understand how Warband works. These guys are zero. Hey! Yay! I'm in that roster too. Thanks, Shadow. Really appreciate it. Our resident reformist Artem and Rev me. Um, I haven't heard of Artem before. Who's who's that? I don't know him. Fuck. <laughs> okay. Uh, what now? What's the weakest shield that I can grab? Uh, okay. That's gonna be better than nothing. It's fine. Horses, nothing for right now. Okay, and stuff. Let's see. Iron, 194. Not bad. The penalty at, at Orticia, we can sell it for much better. Also, we only have two iron. Okay. Or is it Artium? Okay. Uh, loudest ones are never the ones with it. Artem is a Mountain Blade Let's Player. He does the craziest shit. Ah, I see. So he's more on the goofy side. Uh, sure. Shin, San. I'm not buying expensive stuff for right now. I'm just buying what's cheaper. Just so I have my boys equipped. So, a uh, leather. Just rumors. I'll sell a few pieces here. Two pieces. Wait, I will pay 8k? Um... Guys? The fuck did I buy? Hey Kiwi, welcome to the end. Hello, it's Panda. How am I coping with the manual guard? I'm learning it. So it's pronounced RTM. Get it. The fuck did I just buy that's costing me so much money? I'll pay 8k? What the fuck? Do you see this? 
Is it a bug? Yeah. Oh, I should have pressed revert. My bad. Should have pressed revert. So, here, value, go all the way down. Go for the step bow. 150, good. And go for the studded bound kite shield. 205. Done. Let's go in back into trade. I bought a helm. Oh, I must have bought a helm by mistake. Sure, my badsies. Probably bought a helm by mistake. Legend of Total War. Um, he's a very good... I actually watched Legend of Total War. He's a very good Total War player. Really, really enjoy his Warband, uh, Warhammer streams. Kind of funny. Um, for major update about the same time. Okay. He actually streams Mountain Blade currently. He's playing as one. One of the armor pieces cost 8k dinars. Okay, maybe I bought it my mistake or something. My mistake. Uh, two pieces of... Three pieces of the letter. Why not? Should be fine. We'll get some cash. Let's go to the arena. There's a tournament here that's perfect. I wonder if you participate in the arena with your current health. Or does it give you max health? We'll have to figure that out. Uh, Legend of Total War is good only at uh, Total War. I don't really like him to watch playing. I have no idea. I haven't really watched his Mountain Blade streams. I'm, I um, I rely on him for Total War and Warhammer. I'm not as really sure how good he is at Mountain Blade. But hey, he might be good. I don't know. Uh, recruit 9. I don't need any recruiting. I'd like to enter the Smithy and... I'm going to try to learn to use the term smelt. I'm going to try to smelt some of the weapons here. Good. Maybe get ready to start forging something as well. Just get that up for a little bit. We have a lot of Roth iron, a lot of crude iron, and things these just occupy space. So let's go for something... That's not going to cost me super much. There you go. This should be fine. Just want to build the sword so I can smelt it and then sell it. We're going to call it Trainee. There you go. Done. We got a ridged wide something something. Do I have enough for one more? I do. This is going to be Trainee 2. There. I need to find the best recipe that has the least amount of materials to go through. We'll need to check that out. Nah. That's not what I wanted to say, my man. So, smelt these two. I'll need to refine one of these. Good, and boop, boop. And it didn't give me anything, but it's fine. Did we increase our smelting at all? We increased it by one point. One point for Gryffindor. Should be fine. Let's go into the arena and see what we can do. I wonder if my boy is also going to participate in the arena, my uh, companion. Let's see. I know, I'll stop. I'll stop after this arena. Join the tournament. Yeah. Let's see. What? Let's see if we get lucky and uh, get some good gear. <sighs> you don't. You don't level up in your, in your weapon skills, Snake Doctor. You do not increase in level while participating in the tournament. And you also don't part don't receive any skills while participating in the arena. There is a mod out there that also that gives you skills. Uh, Southern male coif might be good. We're in the first round, two versus two, and we're Faya the Wanderer, which most likely is a hmm. She's a companion. She might be powerful. And yes, Vidar the fish is in the tournament as well. So let's uh, join. Oh, shit. Well. 
Good. Oh, nice. Good. Is this snow? This is snow on the ground. At least arenas should give skills. I think you can spam. Uh, you can spam levels if you do that. H zero. Practically, as you start the game, you literally just spend all of your time in the arena until you get a hundred everything. So it can be exploitable. That's why uh, they. I think they decided to not give you skills during arena and tournaments, uh, because again, exploitable and um, well, it should be fine. So, uh, skip round, skip round, and yes, I, for example, like to spam arenas until I get good at the game, uh, but in this case, you know, I understand why they didn't go for it. Nope, you can't, AC0. Think of the grinders, think of the people that are patient. Maybe if you quarter it down, it should be okay. If your companions win the prize, do you get the prize? No, I don't think so. No, I think they get... Actually, you know what? I have no idea, but usually they're pretty pretty weak. I don't know the cheat codes. I think you can find them out there. And I know that not everyone is a grinder HD0, but they don't want to take the risk. Alright, let's join. I wish I could order the boys. Oh my, I'm so dead. Yep. Could kill one of them. Oh man, I got lucky. Son of a bitch, he's ignoring my hits. Shit. What the fuck? Oh no, come on. Lame. I wanted to go with the shield bash. Yeah, leave. I don't care who wins. My Voight Vidar al already got kicked out. So it doesn't matter. Is the yellow bar shield HP or stamina? I think it's HP. Is block plus E? I think I tried to go for that. I think I took my finger off of block too quickly and it kicked. I get not wanting for people to exploit, but you can literally solo looters with a bow and sword to level that way. It may take longer, but any game that has progression skills can be exploited. Fair enough. Yes, true. But it's much easier to go into the arena than to always reliably find and catch looters. Well, if you're alone, you can, but you, you get the idea. Anyway, that is... That's going to be it for today, guys. I haven't noticed if um, I have a, had a full HP bar when we were in the arena, uh, because currently I'm at 61%. But hey, it's fine. That's going to be it for today, guys. Uh, if you like what I do, hit that follow button. It really helps me out. Makes the channel grow, makes it more awesome. If you want to further support me, also subscribe. If you're on YouTube, I have multiple guides and playthroughs that you guys can check out uh, for Mountain Blade. This is also going on YouTube. And uh, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell um, and comment. Um, any interaction with the videos on YouTube will um, increase their visibility to people. So it really helps. Uh, so yeah, that's going to be it. Wish you boys and girls a wonderful day. And I'll see you guys tomorrow when we're going to be continuing with Battle Lord. All right. Bye-bye.